Hello, everybody, and welcome to the to the S and M show. <laughs> did, you, did you forget what what pod you were on? I did. I podcast a lot. Hello, right, let's do this again. Hello, everybody, <laughs> and welcome to the S and M show on the Smodco Internet Radio Network. That's sort of Smodco's morning show. It's never in this morning. It's never in this morning anymore. Broadcasting live, L I V E, from the home of the comic book men, Jay and Silent Bob's Secret Stash. My name is Ming Chen, and sitting across from me, Samantha Applebaum. You got to put me on. <laughs> Samantha are, are, Quinton. Are you going to be rapping the entire oh, night? Oh yeah, yes. You're going to be like dropping, I'm, dropping beats. I'm dropping beats, man. I'm dropping <laughs> bombs today. Samantha Applebaum. You know you got to put me on. Oh my so, god. Samantha, Samantha, Samantha. Hello, Samantha Quintus. How are Hello, you? Hello, Ming Chen. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm actually fantastic I'm, today. I'm fired up, man. Yeah. I'm fired so, up. Today's been like a, a good day. It's been a great day. It's, dude, it's I mean, been a great weekend. It's following weekend. like, yeah, like the best, the best day it's, of the year. You're, fuck it. If, it's been a great week. If you're me, yesterday was the best day oh, ever. I, I, can, I can imagine. Ever. I can, I can imagine. Yeah. It's been a damn good week. It has. Yeah, good week. We'll it was a good weekend. We'll fill you in on all of that. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll fill you on that. all of that. But uh, right now, the studio is covered in pale blue right now. And covered. by and by covered in pale blue, we mean there's absolutely nothing that's pale blue in sight. No, I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna text you like, dude, bring some you know bring bring some paraphernalia bring down. Bring some paraphernalia. Uh, you know, uh, something huge happened in the in the world of sports. In the world of me. Yes, in the world of uh, you know. In I mean, the world of things that I talk about that not many people care about. No, but it, you know, it's, <laughs> it, I, it pains me to say it, but the world's most popular sport, football, yes. a.k.a. soccer. Yes. If you're across the, the pond. J- and, just across the pond. Yeah, so I, do it. Gloat. Gloat. This is your chance. Manchester City. Hold on. The I, hold English on, hold on. Premier League I got, champs. I got, a, I got something for you. You ready for this? I do. You ready for this? I got something for you. I, I got this. This is just for you. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Can I tell you yesterday I was crying Like the entire game almost Like I was tearing up Um, Like just the start of it Like there was like such a Such a pressure like watching this damn game And of course like it's big because All all ten games are airing At the same time on different channels like Fucking sci-fi was playing Soccer the in the morning. Channel? The sci-fi channel. S-Y-F-Y? Yeah, S-Y-F-Y was playing football? Was playing, I think, uh, I think the, the, the Spurs game versus Aston Villa might have been, might have been on that channel. Did I've, that game even matter in um, anything? The Spurs, yeah. The Spurs, they, um, they were, they were contending and Manchester United, um, ha, <laughs> lol at them, were, uh, were contending for, uh, who was gonna go play in the Europa League. Okay. Which is like the poor man's Champions League. Yes. Um, and they it's were, like the, kind of, they were kind of still fighting that out. And is that like the NIT and uh, like March Madness? <laughs> like we got invited to the NIT. It's like, kind of. <laughs> you kind, suck. Kind of. Um, and then all the, the shitty teams, they were all playing so that they weren't getting booted out of the champion, yes, or the, uh, the Premier, the Premier League. League. Okay. And, you know, so those games were, were kind of fun if you Went to watch soccer that doesn't really look like soccer, um, and then there was uh, the Liverpool Newcastle game, which was was big. It was, and the Manchester City versus um, West Ham game, which was bigger. Yes. Um. So so they start the game. Game and started at ten o'clock Eastern. All games started at ten o'clock. So you had yeah. to be up at five in the morning <laughs> to watch this. Were you up at five in the morning? No, it was on at ten o'clock. Oh, it was at ten here. Yeah, it was okay, at ten okay, here. Okay, it's okay. like whatever time over there. All right. So um. So yeah. So I woke up. Um, I wasn't really feeling right. I had like a tummy ache in the morning. I think I was just like a little anxious about it. Um, <laughs> you, you would have thought you were a freaking Samir. What's his face? Yeah, like, yeah, no, like, like, like I was like, yeah, like I'm like fucking or, Aguero or like, like, like you're playing. freaking Vincent Company. So, uh, so, so I was gonna go. I was gonna go. Um, I was gonna go home and watch it, but I, I stayed uh, down here and watched it. And um, first goal. First goal goes in, and um, obvi- all all Manchester City had to do was draw the game. They didn't even have yeah, to a fucking, tie. Yeah, yeah they didn't even have country, to win it. His car tree would call it a tie. Yeah, so uh, so it's they didn't the- even have to win the damn game, or they could have like like lost the game if Liverpool and Chelsea lost as well. So I mean, like you know, there was a lot of factors. High in the tension. Air. Yeah, obviously, um, we wanted to win by points. Like we wanted to win. Had we drawn the match, we would have won by goal differential. So this is like um, this is like hockey where you have point, we get points. Yeah, exactly. But they they go down to goal differential as a tiebreaker. Yes, as okay. a tiebreaker goes okay, down to goal differential. Just trying to understand this this um, weird and like foreign this weird sport like to me. no playoff kind of uh, view of this. So uh, so yeah, it has to go down to a goal differential, which is what it came down to the last time they won. They won by a goal differential. So we we as fans didn't want it to be that way again. We. 
Manchester City pays a shit ton of money uh, they do their, oh, to, uh, to win. <laughs> you, do, can you name the owner? Um, I, I, yeah, he's he's a sheik. You know, I, I actually can't like pronounce. Eighteen different names. It's yeah. like Osama bin Fayed <laughs> bin 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 Spider Man bin uh, bin. You know, I I don't. Yeah, know. he's got he's got, got a lot name. of he's got a lot of complicated names. Yes, um, but he's riches. Like yeah, he's he's a he's a sheik. And um, does he, he have a harem? He, he probably. Does he have a harem? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the guy personally. Um, okay, I'm just, as to I'm what just, his, I've actually never even seen a picture of him. Oh, um, he doesn't come to the games? Uh, no, I don't think so. Why would you buy a team? And you know what? He might come to the games. I just never pay attention to, to things like that. Um, you know, uh, just real quick. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I remember I met a uh, former owner of the Devils, Jeff Vanderbeek. Yeah. And, um, I, and I, was talking to, I, I was talking to somebody who talked to him. And uh, apparently he was like, yeah, you know, our, our son was into hockey. Our little son was playing youth hockey. So we decided to buy a team. And <laughs> so that's what super rich people do. Well, yeah. So, um, so, so I mean, come he, to he pretty much has a bottomless wallet for throwing money for his team to win. So they they spend enough money like their their backup bench could be like its own team in itself. So they shouldn't be winning by goal differential. Like that's a that's a loss. If you uh, ask is there, me. Is there a cap in football? Salary cap? Um, no, they're they're trying to make it. Uh, FIFA is trying to uh, to have you know all these like you can't go over a certain amount right. because it's not really fair. And um, um, what are the, what are these guys, what are the stars getting paid? Or is it like a rod money, like twenty five million a year? Um, yeah, but it's like pounds, so it's like forty five pounds. These guys are making like a rod money. Yeah, really? They're probably making more than a rod money. Holy crap! Man. I mean, like imagine like and that's just like Manchester City. Imagine like somebody like like. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes. Like, I mean. Oh, endorsements and all yeah, that. Yeah, like, I mean, he's making, like, bank. He's, he's set for okay, life. Okay. I'm just, um, I didn't know if these guys get paid, but yeah. So, uh, uh, Jeff Emo Ant Trainer wants to know if, um, if we like NASCAR. NASCAR. And that's a, that's a big solid no for me. I, I'm not into it. <laughs> if, I, I'll if, try anything once. Yeah. If, if I want to go watch people make left turns, I'll go walk around my block a yeah, few times. That's, <laughs> Like, that does, doesn't matter. We are on live right now. You can tweet us. Uh, I am at Ming Chen thirty seven M I N G C H E N thirty seven. Tweet me up. I will answer your question. I will shout you out. Uh, I will you know questions, comments, complaints, yeah. and, uh, and, um, and you are at. Oh, I'm at the Zen Librarian, <laughs> and I never spell that. So, uh, so get nope. a get a dictionary. Go to a library. No problem. Um, so yeah. So the the first score goes in. Yes. Nasri got it. Um, I have. Do you like jump up and down? Are you like I did on the couch? I, I did. Are you doing Tom Cruise. I actually the first one. The first one. I I stayed relatively still. And this is kind of the way I want. I mean, you've seen me watch hockey. I, I don't have. necessarily like scream all the time well, when my give, team you wins. You give ribbing. You rib. Yeah. Um. And and I uh, I'm a very superstitious person when it comes to soccer. Uh, so like things that I do, uh, or things that I wear that I think are like bad luck. Like I bought like their champions league Jersey a few years ago and I wore it and they like lost four games in a row. And I was like, fuck, I've never worn it again. I was like, fuck this Jersey. I don't want anything to do with it, which is sad because it's like my favorite look that they had. Um, light blue is a good look. Well, it was black. It oh. was black with light blue lettering. It had like stripes. It was yeah. really pretty, actually. Um, you know, so did it say "Fly Emirates" on it? No, that is not them. Okay, <laughs> that's Arsenal. Yeah. Oh, real quick. So that theme song was the first time their their song, "Blue Moon." Mm-hmm. It's the first time I heard it. Well, they have um. They have others. Well, no, they have like the standard like Blue Moon, and then they have like rock versions. Okay, because I heard the slow version. I'm like, this is it. This well, gets the, you fired up. Yeah. It's no, like, they they have Blue like Blue Moon. Yeah. And then they have one that like like morphs into like a boom like rock straight so rock. Yeah, you know, I did my homework. I went on YouTube and I looked up um you know Manchester City theme song or whatever. There song. you go. You can go and on it, you can go like, on iTunes and buy like their chants. Yes, and I was like, this is it. Like that does, <laughs> that gets you fired up. Yeah. And then my second question was, are they in fact sponsored by Blue Moon? No, the they Bureau? are not. They are um uh, they're uh there's uh their jerseys say Etihad. Uh, that's Etihad. you know the, oh sure. The uh, Etihad Airlines yes. and Etihad Arena is theirs, and you know, obviously, um, not fly Emirates. Um, but yeah, so Samir Nasri gets the first goal. I stayed relatively quiet, but okay. I teared up because I felt like, okay, well, if this is, and they were kind of controlling the match, you know, I felt like if this is the way the match is going, um, and then, you know, Vincent Company, captain, scores the second goal, which, spoiler alert, ends up being the last goal of the season, which, um, <clears throat> Uh, which, you know, it's, it's right that he's, he, a, he's a captain. He's the captain and okay. he, he kind of holds the team up. You know, he's, he's like a really good captain. Right. Um, 
And, uh, yeah, so, so they win and like shit, everybody just floods the goddamn field. And, you know, I mean, like, isn't that, like, don't people get killed at soccer games? So they let people invade the, invade the pitch, as they call it. They've never let them, even like two years ago, I don't remember when they won last time, like, I don't remember them flooding the field. But, like, I mean, you could see, like, where, where the away bleachers are, technically. You could see, like, cops are lined. Like oh, so arm they're not, in arm. Okay, so, so, so they don't. They can't unless they're outside the arena. Yeah, um, they can't reach each other. But the home team can. They're all drunk. They're all like they're drunk. They drunk. all like storm they're the field, rowdy. and like you see them like like tapping like you know Aguero on the back, and they, like they hugging. let them make contact with these the players. Yeah, I mean they're that's dragging nuts. the players that's off. Um, that's crazy. Yeah. So uh, that's that's that. I can't. I mean, I know they're not the freaking bobbies aren't allowed to have guns or whatever. You know, they just have those um, little nightsticks. Joseph uh, Zapata, yes. Zapata said Manchester pays lots of money and you like them, but the Yankees do it and you hate them. Yeah, I know. It makes no sense. Um, I literally became a Manchester City fan because my best friend was one. He got me into it. And I. Uh, it's the one thing him and I agree on, so I can't really go. But I was a, you, I was a Yankees fan. You were an enigma. I was a Yankees fan when you're, I was a kid. You're an enigma. Um, and I still do like the Yankees, even though I hate to admit it. Ooh. Don't, don't say that. Don't say that. How dare you say that in this building? I just, I, I, I have to disagree with my parents. So my parents are huge Yankee fans. I had I, to, I, I had to pick something else. I understand. Um, so no, when I heard that the fans invaded the pitch, as they call it, there people flooded the field while the players were on there. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. I was like, that's crazy. But then I got flashbacks back to the 70s, and uh, in particular, World Series wins. And I started doing research. I started looking up YouTube. <laughs> um, Not yet. To, if you if you have a computer in front of you, pull up YouTube. Uh, either look up Carlton Fisk, um, you know, foul, foul pole home run, mm-hmm. or Yankees 1977 World Series win. Uh, the Yankee one is in particularly. Uh, did they did they like flood the field? Yeah. So uh, yeah. Did so, they do that? Um, what year was it that they won? That Wade Boggs was on a horse. I have that picture like hanging in my room. Oh my God, I've. Uh, <laughs> Somebody help me out because I yes. really can't remember it. It was in the 90s. Obviously, it was, it, it was when I was a kid. It had to be before 95. No. Well, it wasn't during their uh, their dyna- you know, their freaking five years. Oh, maybe, maybe it had it to be uh, 96, 97. 98, yeah, so maybe 96 99, or 97. It was it was I, Wait, it was when I was a kid because I was um I was a huge Wade Boggs fan. Yes, really weird. Um, and I have the picture of him on the on the fucking yeah, yeah, horse the, the, the hanging horse. in like my my childhood bedroom still. Um, <laughs> Boggs, Boggs, you yeah. A Boggs? I was a he fan of hit, fucking Boggs. He could hit a ball really well. I don't know. I was a fan of Boggs, and then I was a uh, an O'Neill fan, which everybody was an O'Neill fan. Paul. Paul. Okay, I'm just, just making sure. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaquille I was Shaq. I was unaware he played for the Yankees. No, all right. Just and then I was sure. a Jorge Posada fan. George? George. George? George. All right, George seems like a good guy. George. <laughs> uh, if you look at that, the 77 one, um, the uh, the opposing LA Dodgers, last out, he pops up to the infield, and the floodgates open. People start mobbing the field. Start fucking... The, the, greatest, the shot, though, goes to Reggie Jackson from the outfield. He's, he's booking as fast as he can from the outfield. Takes off his hat so no one can steal it. And he's running and people are trying to get to him. He body checks this guy on the way to the dugout. Guy goes flying back like 10 feet. Oh, my God. He runs the dugout. And then they cut to a reverse shot of the field as just flooded with people. It's like, yeah, it looks like I mean, that's pretty much, crazy. Yeah. That's pretty much. You just saw them like all like erupt onto the fucking field. Like it was crazy. And then like, you kept hearing them say like, everybody go back to your seats. We want to do the trophy. Everybody go back to your seats. But like, you know, I'd be like, fuck that. I want to, I want to, like the I thing. Wanna, like I wish I, I was feel in like that rub moment. Up against Aguero and yeah. Shit. Like I wish I was in that <laughs> moment. It's funny too, because like nobody was trying to do anything bad. I mean, obviously you never know, but, but like, obviously you never know. And it was all, I mean, it was all Manchester. City fans and they're like crazy and fucking drunk and soccer hooligans, you know. And um, just like the view that they shoot sh- showed you the aerial view yeah. of like everybody on the field, it was like amazing. It was just amazing to me, and I was crying by that point. Yeah, but but still, <laughs> I yeah, like, mean, you know really? how crazy people are. And I remember like, and if uh, I remember watching the, glory, the uh, NBA back in the nineties, like uh, when the Pistons or the Lakers, when people would flood the court. Oh yeah, I mean, and they just, the football like, games they well, turn on the goalposts. Say, like when when you have like football. I guess football's worse because the stands are a little higher. Um, like the the first 
row is like a little higher. Like soccer, it's ground level, but there's like things there. Sure. But like basketball, I mean, like you're pretty much you are. Yeah, you're just on the court. Like there's no I'm, like once those people come down, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm just wondering, uh, in like a baseball game, you can't even go on. You can't run on the field anymore. No, you get, you you get put in jail. You although, get banned. Although yeah. there was, um, I think it was two years. I think it was the year that City won. Um, somebody like jumped onto the field and handcuffed himself to the goalpost. It took up like a solid eight <laughs> to ten minutes they of like, time. Like they had to hacksaw him out. Yeah, they did. He like I they don't. Even, you know, they should have just left him. Left him. There. Yeah. If he gets hit by there. a soccer ball, fuck him. That's what him you there. get. That's he like ran onto the field and before they could catch him, he handcuffed himself to the fucking goalpost and um and yeah, they handcuffed it was like, his other it hand. Was, it was like an eight minute long thing. They had to get like a saw and like hack sure. him out oh, and like God. drag him off the they field. They left him there. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just saying now they don't let you know you you can't even you can't step foot. I, you can't step foot on the field. Oh God! You can't even think like you can't even have that look like man. I wonder what it would be like because they'll just take you out for thinking about it. Yeah. So what? Like they that, like Minority Report. What, you. When did that end? I wonder. I, don't I mean, know, I when know people um, got fucking crazy. Yeah, I know. Uh, you know, Monica Sellis got stabbed. Uh, I remember there was a White Sox game where uh, this redneck and his son ran on the field and attacked the first base coach. There've been there've been incidents, but I, I just I, those memories stick in my head from the late seventies, even in the eighties when people um would flood courts, football fields, and baseball fields. And so I read this. I was like, wow, that it still happens. Yeah, it um, it definitely uh, it was beautiful though. It it were you you were crying? I was I was I was lost it. I wasn't like right. sobbing. I I definitely didn't like lose control when they first won years ago. I I like lost control. I was like sobbing, hugging my best friend and his father. Um, this time I got teary eyed. It was like that beauty of like. <laughs> <laughs> you cry? I feel like every podcast I talk about how you I do. cry a lot. Yeah. Well, you're, you're, <laughs> like I feel like I mean, like sh- I was crying before I even got here. Like I feel like I just cry a lot. I mean, I don't want to say this, but you know, you're a girl, so. <laughs> well, I, but I, no, I don't. I, know, actually, I don't want to say this, honestly, but so are you. Honestly, I totally understand. Um, when I, I here's, you, I mean, you cry a lot I've, too. No, I've admitted this. I don't cry a lot. I don't cry at movies. I don't, you know. I, God, I should I like sob at movies? I don't cry. I don't usually. I'm not a crier. I, I did all my crying when I was a kid. I cried when you're getting when your was, ass kicked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I just, I wanted, to, I just I wanted to make sure. Did a lot of crying when I was a kid, uh, but now uh, I, I remember sometimes when I watch um those NFL films movies. You ever watch those? Oh yeah. I, I like, and you see the guys celebrating in slow motion and shit. Like you I, get a little I, I, get a little, I get misty. Wow. I get a little misty. It's weird. Wow, that's that's weird, definitely um, way more pussy than on mine. It is, and I remember when I went to the um, <laughs> me and Walt and Sunday Jeff went to the Scott Niedermeyer uh, retirement ceremony, D- and you cried. I didn't cry, but they were showing like highlight clips of him, like you know, and scoring, you got like teary eyed, like glossy eyed, scoring, scoring the Stanley Cup Finals. Um, he's just making awesome plays and. Slow Did Walt motion. make fun of you? He didn't see it. Like I don't. Oh. I did, I like turned. You my like head. yeah. I turned my head and like yeah, I got misty. I didn't cry, but okay. I got. It was, I was, I, it was, I was, I was on the verge. I'm not, I, you know, I just, I'm just going to say it. I'm, gonna, I, I'm trying to think of the last thing I cried during, like the last movie um, that I went to see, like in a movie theater that I cried during. Um, um, it wasn't Captain America. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I remember, uh, did you ever see October Sky? Jake Gyllenhaal, Chris no, Cooper. I didn't see that. You know one. the score though. Yeah, I yeah. do know the score. That, um, at the Sometimes end, listening to a score will get me to tears. Sure. At the, uh, yeah, at the end, there's a beautiful moment with him and his dad, and the I'm score, think, the what, score really got what, me. Uh, that, what that, uh, that, what that did I cry during? I think I probably cried at the end of Grand Budapest a little bit. I think I got a little really? misty. Wes Anderson movie. Uh, maybe not. And then did you turn around and walk away in slow motion? That would <laughs> yeah, be awesome. That would be great. Although I can't tell you how frequently I've used the phrase "unhand my lobby boy" yeah. when it when it doesn't actually even apply. No, you just scream that out randomly. Yeah, like I'll just be walking down the road. Unhand my lobby boy. Like, what? And people are like looking at me like, is "What is this about? crazy bitch?" Like 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 the chick that came to the stash today. Yes, we saw uh, we saw a sort of here certifiable. Yeah, she there. she she was a, a loon on the loose yes what uh shoot i wish i should i should have taken a photo what God, she was her, she was made, moving too quick to get a photo what made her crazy what was she um, saying because i was we were outside uh we were outside we were shooting our gloat video shooting a gloat video for for the the tom steve dave rap battle that we'll talk about the in a little bit bicentennial battle. and um she like she like she walked by a she was dressed like a fucking psychopath um and she was like hunched over, yes. kind of like Quasimodo. And she's like, ah, oh, this comic book store sucks. Ah, this con-. And she just kept saying that. And then she walked in it. Yes. So yes. I'm like, I don't know what the point of that was. Just be careful. That could be you someday. It could be. It could be. It could be. It could be you someday. It could be. Uh, real quick, we were talking about people running on the field. Do you remember <laughs> a, 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 a little 
Remember a lady named uh, Morgana the Kissing Bandit by any chance? I think Does so. ring a bell? Uh, back in the, I think, the late 70s and the 80s, maybe sometime in the 90s, uh, there was a, a big boob blonde named Morgana. <laughs> and her thing was she would run under the fields on, during sporting events and kiss somebody. I think I remember this. And then she would get dragged away. And and back then it was just kind of like, ha, ha, ha. Like it was, they laughed her off. It was like her thing. Yeah. Though. Now she'd be like arrested. She'd be arrested. She'd be I'm thrown like out. I'm like charged with like assaults. I just, I just want to say I miss those days. I miss those days. You know, for her, I think um, it was a lighter time. I, I, it's, maybe I, I don't miss her per se, but those times, I think, those more innocent times where, a, you know, Big Boob Blom could run out into a field and, and you know, say kiss Don Mattingly. Yeah. Or plant one on Wade Boggs or, yes. Yeah, I was I, I was like totally into Wade Boggs. I had like really weird taste in guys growing up. Yeah, you know, I mean, I had the hots for my priest when I was a kid. Yeah, so. I heard, I, we heard that. Everybody, everybody listening has heard that story. I'm just saying, if there's a sexy priest out there, yeah. So wow, Wade Boggs. Wade Boggs. I don't know. Got three thousand. Three thousand. This was a fucking good. He had the porn stash. <laughs> yeah. porn stash. I don't know if I would call it a porn stash, like a poor man's porn stash. He wasn't. He wasn't a poor man though. No, he wasn't, but he Did definitely like he was he wasn't somebody you want to see in a porn. Did you even like him after he went to Tampa Bay? No, Rays? I was so mad. Well, I, I was more mad at Scott Brocious because Scott Brocious was third base for the Yankees then. I was like, fuck him. Oh, he's 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 not he's not as good as Wade Boggs. And um I mean Wade Boggs went to, to Tampa Bay, which was like the team that the Yankees could never beat, still to this day. <laughs> um that they could like barely ever beat them, even though they were kind sure. of a crappy team. So uh so I was a little mad at everybody, but you know, then I ended up finding Jorge Posada. Yes. Now I did. Uh, I watched the end of the game. I saw. You know, there's a there's a. English I'm glad pro- you didn't. I'm glad you didn't tune in during the no, game. No, you, you notice I didn't say it's word. Yeah, I didn't utter didn't, a fucking word. Exactly. I'm a jinx. Was, I, I yeah, understand. Yeah, exactly. That. There was there was no talking about no, it. I'm not gonna. I didn't say a word. No text. Nothing. No. Didn't even. <laughs> no. A word. No. Good luck tomorrow. Didn't even think about it. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. I know. So there's an English Premier League, English Premier League trophy. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Big ass trophy. And then uh, you get a medal. Yeah, you get medals. For really, like you won like a five k medal. <laughs> yeah, you get a fucking like medal. everybody wins. They're not even like big medals. If you look at them, they're kind of like tiny and cheesy. Are they at least made out of like solid? I have gold no or idea. I is mean, this, I would imagine that they're made out of like something. Is this what they get in lieu of rings? I guess. Yeah, they get medals and then they get the trophy and no ring, uh, no heart, no that's, ring. I guess that's kind of Olympic, like I well, guess. Well, yeah. I want the ring, though, man. I want to do something where I get a ring. Okay. You you got married. Yes. No, I went like a sporting event. Where <laughs> you, you get like you a, got married and you got I a did. ring. I did. I'm wearing. <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. He, hear that? Ming is married. I am. I know. Pray for Debbie. Pray, pff, thanks. Thanks I'm a lot. Fucking drinking out of a bottle. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of which, we uh we have uh we mugs. Have, we have a uh, S and M show uh and. Qu- they, these aren't these are legit mugs. We got <laughs> these are these got some fucking weight we on got them. Special edition mugs. Uh, they are etched by the Trophy Shop Connecticut. My, my man Adam over there um, did some, did up some serious mugs. Yeah. He, um, we met him at the um, we did I saw comics live show at the uh, NYC Podfest, and he presented these to us there. And, uh, and I emailed him like, "Hey man, can we? Uh, can you, do you think you make some S and M show ones?" He's like, "Yeah, no problem. I'll t- you know I'll." I'll no problem. Just send me a logo. I'll take care of it. I'll make sure it's an excellent job. So, uh, so we got these. They arrived, and yes, they're a little too costly, I think, to sell. But we're we're getting pint glasses. We're gonna made. do pint glasses you, and um, that's just and the shirts. Thing of the show. Shirts. And then I suggested um, beer, koozies beer koozies because we're drinking out of beer bottles as well. Yes. Do, do they even work? Do beer they keep koozies? your beer cold. Yeah, sure. I used to have a um, back when I was a Vancouver Canucks fan. I had a Van koozie. Van Cousy? That's what I called it. Van Cousy. A Van Cousy. Sounds dirty. A Van Cousy. It sounds dirty. <laughs> what? Yeah, these... <laughs> now I had I to have think about it. I had to think about it for a second. I saw you buy a dildo. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that for a second. We were, so the show before us uh, on Sir, smodcast.com slash Sir, that's what you're listening to, was a... Uh, um, um, Katie Morgan yes. is on our network. She hasn't done a pod in a while, though, which pains me because I, I liked it. So okay. It's called, it was called Having Sex with Katie Morgan. Okay. And what, who better to answer your, your sex, sex questions, questions than a sex professional such exactly. as Katie Morgan? It's true. And um, she takes uh, viewer mail and calls. And I think one person was um, – he, uh, he wanted to spice up his sex life, I think. And Don't we all? To, yes. And he wanted to – 
like buy toys and things like that. But his fear was going into a store, like a sex store, and perhaps running into somebody he knows. I saw you buy, I a, saw dildo. You buy a dildo. Do you, um, okay, well, to, in answer to that question, okay, okay so, so we're in Red Bank. We are. I mean, you're very well known. I am. Um, I'm, I'm, Around here, yes. I was just say, I'm more so people remember me still as the children's librarian. So, like, I mean, I still get that when I'm walking around yes. a, a little. Yeah, you if have there, a rep. If there was like a, a rep. Yeah, if there was a sex shop in Red Bank, there is no chance I would go there to buy things. Like, you don't go. It's like you don't shit where you eat. Like, you don't yes. buy your sex toys where people know you as, like, the children's librarian. Right. Like, I, I, I like, understand. Mail order is good, discreet. They send in brown paper packages. It usually <laughs> says, like, um, like uh, Corelco Incorporated. It's a, like a nondescript company. Exactly. <laughs> And exactly. Very, very discreet, very clean. Um, don't ask me how I know this. How do you know this? Don't, thing? A, don't ask me. <laughs> don't ask. Don't ask me. But um, say you know you're getting down, and you know you just need something. You can't mail. You can't go on Am- the sex app. You can't go on Adam and you've got dot com. And what get it. to, to like you get know? it immediately? Well, if you're yeah. having sex and you need something immediately, like mm-hmm. I mean, okay, you're gonna get dressed. You're gonna drive to the store. You're gonna do some shopping. Shit. Okay. By the time you get home, are you really gonna like? You be tired. I understand. What if um <laughs> you know okay say. You're a Boy Scout. Be prepared, but you're not that prepared. <laughs> okay, it's the night. It's you know the the night of. Do Boy Scouts actually know what sex is? I don't know. Okay, I never got that high. I was a Cub Scout. Okay, never got to Boy Scout. I don't think I, I've ever um, dated a Boy Scout. Um, be prepared. They're prepared. Oh no! Actually, I lied. I lied. I dated. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <huh? laughs> ah. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. Uh, where was I? Oh, but you know, say you know, okay, you're prepared, but not that I, prepared. It's I just wanna... at eight. Say it's six o'clock. You're like, shit. I need some lube. Which you can go to like a Walgreens and buy. So let's go with something that it would. You would have to go out. Okay, I need a dildo. There you go. I I need you know. So I, need... I saw you buying a dildo. I saw you buying a dildo. Would you? Would you be afraid of? Yeah, I guess you asked. Like, that I just like you would be afraid like, of. Okay, like I mean, if you're walking, like okay, so, like I just I don't know. Like I would go to a store out of the town that I reside sure. or or work in to do that. Like a lot of trouble. I don't, I don't know. Like I just I don't know. There, I mean, there is no Walmart of sex stores. There's you know there's there uh, there's one in this town that I know of. Is there one in this? There town? There is one in this town. I've not been there to the full disclosure. Where is it? It is. Uh, down, it's past the mall, and it's actually yes! located it's next, right on Route, it's Route 35. It's located next to a massage parlor. Yeah, it's right, it's right on Route 35. Oh, yeah. God, that place looks so it's dirty. It's so skeevy. Oh, man, it's never, really, never. It's never. located under a building that says, like, Mammoth Dental Group, I think. Yep. It's right, located <laughs> under a dentist office. Yep. I know exactly which one you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, that place is... So you would not go in there. No, even, I would No matter how there. desperate you are. No matter how desperate I am. There is no fantasy too great that you need to exactly. fulfill no, that I, you would go in there. The, I would go in there. I can't even imagine a place like that having anything up to par with what I'd be looking for. Mm, okay. So, I mean, like, that's, like, another thing. When you're going into a sleazy place, you're getting, like, sleazy goods. Yeah, uh, Shit, they're probably, like, pre-owned and returned. Uh, excuse me, quick. Do you have the Dominator here? <laughs> like, yeah. Do you know what a dom? Is it called the Dominator? I- <laughs> no. The, the only one that I know off the top of my head is, up- is when Twilight came out, mm-hmm. they, made, they made a glass dildo with glitter in it that you were supposed to stick oh in God. the freezer so that Why? you could, like... So oh. it was, like, fucking a dead vampire that glittered oh it was like a, it was like a, it was like a twilight thing you put wait hold on you freeze this thing yeah you and, and did you not see christmas story i didn't do it i know i didn't see i'm just saying i'm just saying this could end badly yeah. very very badly well regardless I, um i ain't sticking any anything in frozen closet. up in me all right well let's go um all right maybe you won't go to an all-out sex shop now now even if say you do run into somebody you know there aren't they as guilty as you are unless you are even if you're holding the dildo. Ooh, yeah, I man. never thought about it like that. If somebody, okay, well, that's if you're inside. If if Aren't they you catch just... you like walking it, I mean, like I have a car that when you drive by, you know it's me. As do I. Yes. Yes. So I mean, like, there's always the like, oh well, I saw your car parked outside. That's like the one conversation. So they are you're completely okay, guilty. Sure. But like, I guess yeah, no. If you're in the store and you know they they come up to you, yeah. Like obviously they're as guilty as you are, but yeah, like you see what group. an awkward conversation. Sure. So what are you here for? Well, 
you know, like, what do you say? I, I'm, I'm here to, to buy a glass dildo so I can pretend I'm fucking Edward Cullen. Yes. Like, that's like an awkward conversation <laughs> starter. All right, let's go milder than uh, you mentioned going to Walgreens to buy lube. Okay. What, uh, what about that? Are you buying, you know, buying, uh, you know, ma- I, you know, I buy the Magnums, you know, I, I pick, you know, I need the Magnums. Oh, the, uh, the, for the, your big Sharpie? The king size, yeah, for my Sharpie, <laughs> for your so big to Sharpie. speak. Um, or, you know, I'm buying my flavored, uh, you know, flavored fun pack. And, okay. you know, you're in, okay. you know, so your neighbor. Okay, so as, as a you, girl, I, I don't buy condoms. No, like, as a girl, should, you should, you should, I just don't do should. that. Um, so the dude should be responsible um, for that. Yeah, exactly. It ain't my penis. No. So they got to they gotta cover that ain't up. Ain't my penis, ain't my problem, yeah. <laughs> well, <Okay. laughs> it could be my problem. Um yeah, I guess like if you were walking around with like lube and it's like a, a Walgreens, yes, like you know, or, or a Walmart, yeah, or a, like the Rite Aid right across have from you, the library I used to work at. Like, imagine I'm like walking through there with like condoms and some lube, and like you know, the kids that I just did story time for see me. Like, yes. what do I say? Oh, I, I Sam, <laughs> how are you? Buying <laughs> some Astroglide, I see. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm gonna be great later. Like, yeah. <laughs> what, how do you bring that up? I don't know. I would just, KY for feminine dryness. <laughs> like, I would just feel excellent un- choice. I would just feel uncomfortable. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I face that. I get now as a man, I have to buy condoms. Okay, and it's you know, it, it, mm, what I don't care anymore. I really don't. I don't. I don't care. I run into my neighbor. I don't care. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing it. So <laughs> I'm doing it. So <laughs> yeah, I have sex with my wife. What? Is it? In, is I, it? In, I have nothing to well, say. Should I be embarrassed if I'm buying condoms? No, I want to be. I'm protecting myself. Exactly. I, I'm, I'm wearing a Jimmy cap. I'm double bagging it. <laughs> double, what? You're double bagging Why? it. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you okay, for judging yeah. me like that. No, I'm saying. Is it? Should I be embarrassed? Um, I'm buying condom. Condoms. Let's say I'm buying condoms. Okay, buying condoms. Okay, let's let's play the game. Let's play the game. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, buying condoms, regular size. Um, you know, regular. You know, lubricated for. Uh, just for r- for his and her pleasure. Well, yes, lubricating straight up condoms. Should you see me? <laughs> say you see me, and you know you don't know me as well as you know we've met a couple. We've hang on a couple times, maybe. I don't know. I think it would be weirder would be if weird? I knew you. Like if it, I, I feel like we're walking through Rite Aid okay. and I'm walking around with lube and you're walking around with condoms. Okay, that would be like weird. I feel like you and I got like a weird yeah. day going. <laughs> no, we're having a good day as far as I'm concerned. I feel like that's like a wildly inappropriate. Yeah. If I ever see you in a Rite Aid, I'm walking the other yeah. way. So like our, when I see you at Surf Taco, yeah. that's one thing. All right. But if you're at a Walgreens, yeah. all bets are off. Right. Okay. So I'm uh, just got the regular Trojans. Should you know, twelve dozen pack. <laughs> Not the, 12, not the, 12 dozen? Or no, 12. 12 okay. is the normal one. I thought one. you said 12 dozen. No. I'm like, holy no, shit, I'm not you buy that the, at Costco. I'm not buying the fun pack. <laughs> you buy that shit I'm not Costco. buying the fucking fun pack. <laughs> Economy size. Okay, but you you can clearly see the label is just straight up uh, Trojans. Should I feel bad? Should uh, I feel embarrassed? No. Well, you f- maybe you're long. I mean, like, I'm not going to say, like, I mean, maybe, maybe I would because I'm me, but like, most people aren't going to be like, oh, Ming, so I see you're buying condoms. Yes. <laughs> like, who's yeah. going to do that? Okay. All right. What about, um, I buy the Magnum, the, the Magnum Fun Pack, which has the regular condoms. It has, uh, the how do you, ribbed. How do you know? I'm, a, I buy condoms. That's okay. how I know. Okay. I buy, I just, okay. So you get, you get, I think, you, I think you get a dozen. You might get two dozen. You get like 24. 12 dozen. So that's, that breaks down. So I think you get like six normal ones. You get six like ribbed ones for her, ribbed. For ribbed. Her, for her pleasure. For her pleasure. Spermocidal lubricant with the reservoir tip. <laughs> ribbed. For her pleasure. You're so creepy. I know. You're um, so wildly inappropriate. Wildly inappropriate. <laughs> wildly. Then, all right, so you get six ribbed. Um, I think you get six where they're lubricated, but for her pleasure. Okay. They, they I don't know, have tingles or some shit like that. <laughs> like fire and ice? Something like that, yeah. And then, I've used those. And then you get, then the real fun ones are flavors. You get flavor. You get, uh, you get gross, six, gross. You get okay, six flavors. Okay, like as a female, can I just throw it out there? Mm-hmm. I, like, okay, if I'm going down on a guy, okay, I don't want to be going down on a fucking pe- like a penis with like a condom like on a it. Rubber, yeah, like like with- shit. I just <laughs> if I'm going down on a guy, like I don't want to be latexing it out. Ew, it's flavored. Ew, it's flavor. You get, you get the the flavors are fun. Uh, you get Ew. blueberry. You get yeah. chocolate, vanilla, yeah, no. banana. No. Vanilla. Let's not talk about blueberry flavored latex while we're drinking blueberry flavored okay. beer, please. I'm just <laughs> okay, so word to the wise: flavored comes. No go. No, ew, no go. gross. No go. No, just uncover just it. If you do that, just uncover. You know, just, take a freaking take a fucking bath. I'll cover that shit. Yeah, just oh okay. god. Ew. Okay. <sighs> All right. I'm just I'm just making sure. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So I got the fun. So pack. okay. So you're you walking around like see, a box the size of like a toaster. It's not oven. that big. It's like the pack of two cigarettes. Okay, maybe four. Did, should Bigger. I feel weird? Um, you got the fun pack. You're like, all right. 
just got um, contact. Um, uh, no. Would you? Would you? Now, come on, you, you're judging me. I'm judging you're you like, a little bit. The, you're like, oh. I'm judging you a little bit. Okay. I'm like, okay. Ming's wild. Yeah. That's not that wild, is it? It's it's. I like variety. I like well, you're fun. also planning ahead. I am. I feel like that's that's organized. I am. Um, if if you were walking around like I, Walgreens with like you know. <laughs> like one of those like carry baskets yes. full of condoms. Yes. And lube. <laughs> that would be one thing. I am. Um, <laughs> that would I, be wildly inappropriate. I, oh god. <laughs> uh, I I'm gonna admit to this because you know why not? Because we're having fun. Oh god. I've done that. Are you serious? I've had a, I've had a shopping basket full of condoms. This is why. Okay. This is I would why. love to know why. This is why. And I have. I, okay. You buy condoms here in New Jersey. A dozen. Cost about fourteen bill. It costs you set you back about fourteen bill. Yeah, fourteen dollars. They're ex- fucking expensive. They're expensive. Cost you over a dollar now. So when it. you go to like Ohio, yes, they're cheaper. They're five dollars. So okay, I, I see go to Ohio where doing. my in laws live. No joke. I don't know why the price difference. I have no idea, and that's crazy, right? Three times as much. That's yeah, nuts. I don't know why. Is latex cheaper out there? Is is maybe, there no distribution maybe people, costs? Maybe less people are having sex. In New Jersey, well, it's I don't know. Supply and demand. Oh, right, right. Yeah. So less people drive yeah, up the cost. Yes, yeah, sure. so drive up the cost. So yeah. They're making their profit. You know, people sure. in Ohio, they're bored. They got nothing better to do, so they just have sex all day. Right now, I mean, like so, you know, yes. that sounds like something Ohioans so would do. So I go to Ohio twice, maybe three times a year. Hell yeah, hell yeah, I load up. It's five bucks, dude. I have loaded up the the car. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. You make fun of me. I don't care. I, I it's it's economics. Fair enough, fair enough. So so when you go to Ohio, mm-hmm. when 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 Ming is tweeting about how he's in Ohio, At everyone everyone should just be under the assumption that Watch you out. are coming home with like a trunk load of condoms. I, I am. I ain't ashamed of it. <laughs> okay. I ain't ashamed of it. I saw you buying your body weight in condoms. Pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Why and why why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? That's, that's, dude, that's saving a crap load of money. It's three it, times it is. much. I, generally speaking, I try and um, not view sex as saving money, but you know, hey. I, I mean, I need those condoms. <laughs> I need them. I'm just saying. I need them. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. So. Fair enough. So if you're okay. in Ohio, co- count your If blessing. you're in Ohio, yeah, go. Uh, li- I'm not even kidding. Go it's, sleep with someone just to buy some condoms. You know how, all, how at Walmart everything ends in 97 cents? Yeah. Does it for $4.97. $4.97. $4.97. Go to Walmart in Ohio and uh, there you go. Yeah. Good Good for them. Yeah. Good for Good for yeah. people in Ohio. Okay. So Ch- Cheers to them. So, yeah. So, all right. So, you know, so did you answer that question? I'm, I'm walking out of Walmart. The freaking shopping cart full of condoms. Yeah, I uh, I judge you. you I judge completely me? I completely judge you. What if, I got, what if I, uh, <coughs> Magnums got back some box of Magnums? I would completely judge you then too because I would just know you're lying. <laughs> okay. I'd be like, where are the twists? For you, where are the twist ties to keep those suckers on? <laughs> the, these ain't for you. Too. Oh God, it's like a freaking hefty bag on me. <laughs> <laughs> so, no respect um, here, man. So, so yeah, so uh, no respect. Strictly speaking, when I go to a sex shop, I go to one. Um, not that I have one that I go to, but there's like a when I walk around New Hope in uh, Pennsylvania, they have oh, like yeah, yeah. They, have a like a, they have a really there's kick-ass, a really like, good one. three-story yes. sex shop. I know, that, I yeah. know what you're talking about. <laughs> Most people who go to New Hope do. Yes, um, it's a good shop. Yeah, it is. They have like an entire floor of just like leather chaps, like assless chaps. Yes. Um, not my thing, but in New Hope, uh, that's not my thing either. But I'm just saying that's that's a pretty intense selection. Yeah, traditionally, <laughs> um, yes, uh, traditionally a, a popular place for uh, people in New Hope. Yes, assless chaps, and um, yes, so, I, I know uh, exactly. Yeah, I, I know that fucking. I like store know is. exactly where it is too. Every time I, it's, I like it's, around it's the... right by where I park. Like my car, there's yeah. a lot I park yes, in. So it's yes, always, yes, It's always like my first store I stop by the train in. Station and uh, yeah, yep. Uh, it's around the corner from the hot sauce store, which is the first shop I stop in. Okay. Yes. Um, so, yeah. So, that's when I go to – there's one in like on Route 1 in New Brunswick that is closer to where I live that I've been to. But it's like the same the same as the one down here. It's like really shitty looking. You know, I mean like if you're going to go to a sex shop, it's, you yeah, need – Yeah, it's classy. Yeah, you need, to, you need to be classy about it, you know. Uh, have you ever been in an awkward situation like that? Like uh, – I have not. You have not. Knock on wood. You have not. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna. Leave. Yeah, oh, I mean, you know, it'd be more embarrassing for you. You're a female. Yeah. Like a dude would be like, Pff, he's, like yeah, he's, he's, he's fucked up. But like a girl, if I'm buying condoms, it's like, oh, why ain't the guy doing this? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Or there's well, the, or there's the never ending thing with women. Why 
isn't she just automatically on birth control? Yeah. Do you want you want to hear a story about about you being on birth control? No. Absolutely. Being in a weird situation like that, would you like I, to hear I, this? I or? do. Do you really? I do. Uh, when I was in college, um, this is pre-internet. Okay. So you couldn't get porn at the touch of a you know. In, on a web browser okay. in, in like two seconds. So um, oh yeah, you're old as I, shit. Uh, yeah, true. So I, you know, I had to go to a video store to get stuff yes. like that. So and they had the little like the room, curtained off the room, room with the saloon doors. Yep, so always, <laughs> always, yeah. And wow, they were always, wow, cre- wow. yeah. <laughs> they were always like creaky. And yes. I remember I used to like go in and be like, "Mom, what's behind those doors?" And she'd be like, "Stay away from there." Yeah, you might see a little creepy Asian man in there. Exactly. Which, so um, yeah, one day you know I, I had I you know I. Now a red blooded American male, and uh, <laughs> you know I want uh, I wanted to partake in some adult entertainment in the privacy of my own home. So I went down. I was in Ann Arbor, Michigan. So anybody in Ann Arbor might remember a little video store called a uh, little video store chain called Video Watch. And they oh had, my god! They had the back room, and you know I'm back there, and uh, you know I'm picky. I don't want just anything. I want something good. I got I and I you know I have particular tastes. Okay. Not that particular. Yeah. Not that messed up. But you know I have I want something good. And you know, I don't I don't do this a lot, so I don't wanna you know nothing I, I don't do this a lot every other day. Back then, see now it doesn't matter. You can pull up something like I don't like this and you go to the next one. Back then <laughs> If you if you if you took it home with you, that's all you that's had. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to go back. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to go back. Like you don't it's nothing feels worse than going home like, Oh god, this sucks. Yeah. I may I, I fucked up. Yeah. It's like I you so you know I'm See, back. I mean like I, I like strictly speaking like like a really bad porn. Like, you know, sometimes What's like, bad? That's relative. Like, like anything on like Cinemax at night. Like those that's are like soft core? Well, shit? Yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Like I fucking love those things. Like they're hysterical to me. Like I'll get out like a bowl of popcorn and really just sit there and watch it. Like freaking like red shoe diaries and shit. Like you know, anything with like really bad like okay, okay. I fell asleep. Okay. A few oh, weeks ago okay. on the couch, fell just, asleep. Just preference it. You fell asleep. Yeah, I fell asleep. Okay. Oh, okay. Because this was like hysterical. I fell okay. asleep on the couch. Okay. Wake up. Okay. And there's two girls. <laughs> the, yeah. That, that's and, the first thing I saw. Okay. I, I, I had to wrap my head around that. Two girls in an outside shower, obviously making out with each other and pouring chocolate sauce on each other in the shower. Now to me... <laughs> to me, my my like seriously practical mind is like, why wouldn't they do that before the shower? Like, why would you be pouring chocolate on the other person and trying to lick it off when the water is like clearly? Hold up, you never you never done that? No. Okay. Generally speaking, I don't mix like my my whipped cream and my chocolate with my shower. Like, if I'm gonna do that shit, I do it somewhere else and then take a shower. It just didn't make practical sense to me, but okay. I found it hysterical. It was it was a really good one. Okay. <laughs> so I sat there and watched the entire thing. You watched it? <laughs> Do I love you? Yeah. Do I love you? Just a little mood, mood, mood music here. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, go on with your... Uh, your. Okay. So I'm, I'm in the back of the video watch. Okay. Looking, you know, looking for what I need. And I'm kind of picky. And I take... I, I, I don't take these things lightly. So I'm kind of back there for a while. Like half an hour maybe um and then <laughs> yeah. you know, i'm about to walk out with my selection and uh this dude walks in and i he, we knew each other and we just kind of look at each other and he's you know he's i mean in yeah in that situation he's, he's in there and he can't you don't you can't just turn around and yeah. be like oh so we, we just kind of look at we lie Did you say hi we look at each other and just like hey hey what's up see it would have been weirder it was yeah if 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 he knew how long you had been in there like had he like maybe seen you walk in into the, the the saloon doors, sure, and um and and like had timed like you know was waiting for you to come out and like oh so you know, he could go in maybe yeah, he I don't know I, maybe I was he saying, was like, maybe like forty five minutes no. later he's like Jesus fucking Christ what yeah, is he fuck, beating fuck, in the back yeah, room I know, fuck like this I'm going in <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going in he might be dead <laughs> he might he might he might got lighted lightheaded and passed out exactly yeah so that would have been weirder it but, was just it was weird I was just. I know this dude. And he looked at he's like, oh, in New York, he's like, hey, hey. And then I was like, I well, better I fe- get the fuck out of here. I feel like in, in something like that, same same rules apply. Like, if if we still had video stores that, that had those, you know, I would never go to one in my town that I worked in. <laughs> like, I would go to the next town over. I'm not driving 45 minutes out of I'm my way for... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. 
I've been driving 45 minutes out of my way for a freaking like a, for a freaking Christy Canyon video. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> in Diana Jones in the Temple of Poon. Yes. And <laughs> and you know, you don't you're not you're Or we get it on. Yes. You go in there you're like I ain't going to see anybody I know. It was like and in the middle of the day. There was no chance. Some. There was no chance I was going to see somebody and sure enough I did. I like to tell you so there he was. Yes. So just you know what, you kids these days, you know, some of you kids listening to the show, you know, you look to, to us, look up to us for advice. I just want to say, you have it easy. Just type in a right browser. Just it's go true. To, you just go to fucking RedTube. Yeah. Get whatever you want. Get whatever you, you want. You type in the search like, field. Like, shit, you could go on Google and type in, like, naked chick and you get naked women. Like, you don't even need to be, like, all particular with watching videos. Yeah. You can just find a naked woman. On- shit, you could probably just go through any one of your friends on Facebook. And I'm sure one of your skanky girlfriends is going to have some naked pictures up. Sure. Sure. Well, not me. My All my friends are classy. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. But all your friends are women. They're classy women. But they're women. They're classy though. They would never <laughs> they would never do that. They would never do that. Never. <laughs> they would never. never do that. Can we uh can we just take a moment here and say that in ten minutes um, Yeah, can we say goodbye? Uh, we're gonna lose half our listeners here as to, they, to the Boston Bruins game. Boston Bruins Montreal Canadians. Yes. yes. I, I don't think we're gonna lose half our, our viewers. Um, we might. <laughs> I don't know. Um Clearly, I, I'm going to be going crazy. I'm going to be completely distracted from this point on. So it's good that we talked about sex. Are you getting sex. updates? I'm going to be getting updates. Right. I assume that as soon as like the Hab score or Boston scores, I'll have like a shit ton of people messaging that just, to me. Just don't start crying. I'm not going to cry. Or you want to cry. Cry. It's good for ratings. I'm not, cry yeah. is good for I remember ratings. one time we were, t- we were talking about the Boston Marathon, and I'm like, man, I don't know if I could talk about the Boston Marathon without crying. And he goes, good. You Do cry. It. That's that's podcasting gold. It is. It's podcast And gold. I'm like, really? It's totally podcast gold. So, um, But no, I'm not going to cry tonight. Okay. Um, you know, leave us on the background. Turn the volume down <laughs> a little bit. Get my crying off. Oh, the, uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the, uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you crying? Are you crying? Are you crying? <laughs> there yes. is no crying in baseball. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. What else do we got? Well, did you want to talk about the beatdown? Did um, you see the first? Beat I down? wanted to talk about your hickey arm. Well, is it gone uh, yet? No. Look. I, oh, nice. You saw me okay. today. Yeah. So so we recorded the gloat video for for the Tell Him Steve Dave two hundred bicentennial rap battle, yes. and I'm looking at Ming's arm, and there's like this big fucking red spot on it, and I'm like, is like that like a, a hickey like on a, his it looks arm? Like a hickey. It looks like a Bad. hickey on his arm. So he's gonna tweet a picture of this, Bad. and you all can agree with me. Hashtag pray for Debbie. Um, it's not a. Who puts a hickey on an arm anyways? I don't know. I'm just saying. You clearly have a hickey on your it's arm. It's not a hickey. It's I was, a hickey. I went. I did. I worked out. Mike agreed with me. It's a hickey. <sighs> I, it's not a hickey arm. I, it's, it's not a hickey. <laughs> All right, there's, there's tweeted. Uh, Twitter.com slash Mingchen37. It, it is it's, not a, it's like a hickey arm. It's not a hickey. I was working out this morning. I was swing. I was doing. <laughs> I was doing a thing called the Turkish get up. Are you familiar with this? It sounds like sex. It sounds, yeah, every, all, all <laughs> it the, sounds like sex. Every weightlifting move sounds like sex. The clean and the, jerk. The, the, the snatch. The snatch. The, the deadlift. Turkish get up. It's called the tur- Turkish get up. I was holding a very heavy kettlebell. Actually, it wasn't that heavy because I'm a wuss. It was probably like and five pounds. It bruised my arm and it's not a hickey. It, it, okay. Everybody who sees this can agree with me. It's a fucking hickey. It's not a hickey. It's a hickey. No way. It's a hickey. So, and you had a comment on that and call it hickey arm. It's it's hickey arm. Yeah. Okay. It's hickey oh, arm. Oh, I spelled it hockey arm <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter. It's supposed to say hickey. That's supposed to say hickey. Hickey arm. Sorry. Yeah. Not so you guys can arm. all agree with me. It's uh, it's a hickey. Hockey. Hickey. Hickey. It, it, hockey arm. It's a it's a hickey hockey. Uh, hickey hockey arm. Yes. So yeah. So uh, the beat down. The beat down. The slunge Noel's beat down. Did you see it? No. No. Did no. you hear about it? No. These people. These people don't matter in my life. You know, you should watch this, dude. I'm ki- I'm not even kidding. Okay. Wh- what is it? It is uh, you know Solange Knowles, Beyonce's sister. Yeah, Beyonce's so, sister that she like keeps locked up in her basement. Yes, <laughs> talented in her own right. I've heard her. I've heard her. Not that talented. I, I mean, not as not as much as her. But who is? Let's be honest. Well, I hate Beyonce. So she, come on, you got to give her some props though. For what? For uh, you know, crazy in love and, uh, and uh, for like her girls rule the world the sure. same line like fifty times over and over again. Hey. She had like six writers come up with that. Are you kidding? Yeah, come but on. sure, no way. sure. No but way. she she performed it. That's what matters. She can sing that shit. Oh, I'm not saying I'm a big Beyonce fan. Give her give oh, her Jesus. her respect though. Lord no. And there's only one male 
rapper that I hate just as much as her, and that's Jay Z. So it's perfect that they oh, found each other. It's perfect that they found you, each other in this world. Jay Z? Because I just fucking hate him. Like I don't like him. Why? I don't know. I don't like his raps. I don't like really? anything about him. I don't like like his like whole like backstory and his whole who he's become. Like I really could care less about these people. You know, he came up from the uh, the, the the you know you know he. Yeah. Yeah. Lower the bass. Lower the bass. Take the bass line out. <laughs> he had a hard knock life. He he, he rose from the. Uh, I, I don't. I actually don't know. Yeah. I actually don't know yeah. if he came up from the street. So so go so go down. She uh she, they had a, they had a beat down. Well, there is uh, released to TMZ last night or today is a um, elevator camera. So you see Jay Z get in with his white tux coat. This is after the Met Gala, that big fashion gala, and then you see her uh, busting ass in, and she just starts beating him. Just beating on she. You see her go up to him, get in his face, and start yelling at him. And then she starts swinging. Wait, was it like serious? Yeah. Why was Tell she hitting him? I don't know. There's no audio. It's that. Well, it's an elevator camera, so there's no audio. She's she's like full on. She's pissed about something. She's pissed about something. Okay. And she beats him down like I beat down. Tell him Steve Dave. Oh, I see battle. what you did there. Yeah, I see what I did there. Like we beat down Tell him Steve Dave. Anyways. She's like she's punching him, and then uh, this guy, this, there's a dude in there trying to pull her back. She starts kicking him because she, you know, he's holding her arm. Oh back. my god! I have to like watch it's, this. It's, it's it's amazing. It's oh, amazing. Okay. I love seeing famous people flip like, out, flip out, and and fight. You know, okay, as long as nobody gets seriously injured, like <laughs> yeah. like the Rihanna, like Chris Brown thing. That was evil. That, that was, was terrible. That was terrible. That was terrible. That was bullshit. I mean, fight. I don't really like either of them either, but like that was terrible for no, her. I do not condone that. But this, it, it was just fucking stupider when she went back with him after that because oh, sure. like yeah. But to, to, be see, an to see a uh, 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 you know uh, a lady stand up for herself and start beating down a dude, yeah, I uh, awesome. I would love to know what caused it. Yeah, me too. especially like It'll come wh- out. especially like why it couldn't have been held until a place where it wasn't right after a fancy thing. Yes, or they're all dressed up. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. like that's what I'm saying. It's like awesome. you know, like what can't wait. You know. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Oh, here's the best part. Beyonce is there. Is she she's, in the elevator? Yeah, she's in the elevator. She doesn't do a thing. She's not doing anything. She's just sitting back watching all this shit. It's so, it's bizarre. She doesn't do anything. Okay. Yeah. That's even weirder. You would think that she would either like try and stop her little sister from beating on her husband yes. or. Yeah. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Maybe, maybe Jay-Z like cheated on Beyonce or something and, you oh, know. man. Uh, then they would both be beating on him. True. How bad? What? what True. Speculate. Speculate. What could have happened? Uh, speculation. She I made mean, fun ma- of her mama, Mama Knowles. Mama Knowles. Maybe. Made fun well, of I feel her like mama. Beyonce would have like smacked him up too. Sure, too. So what I mean, would- maybe, maybe he like said to to. I don't even know. <laughs> somebody tweeted uh, buying condoms, rashes on his arms. Pray, hashtag pray for death. Um, somebody somebody <laughs> tweeted uh, thinking a SARS outbreak, yeah. and then uh, apparently a bruise is not always a hickey. I have to get my head out of the gutter. Yes. Hashtag pray for Debbie. Danae, love you, Danae. Hashtag pray for Debbie. Hashtag okay. Ming loves women. Yes. So, yeah. so no, uh, you have to watch this video. Okay, I'm, I should give you a heads up, but I was just so. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it tonight. Yeah, like, I'm gonna go home. You're and gonna like pop go, on some TMZ. Yeah, pop some popcorn, get the popcorn <laughs> out, true. crack open a beer, and it's like, all right, it's 50 seconds. Okay, it's not that long. Okay, it's not that long. So it's so it's uh it's it's like sex with Ming Chen. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it, is. it is, but you know when you when you're done, you remember it. And probably be crying. Yeah, and probably be crying. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, so, so let's talk about since uh, since you brought it up okay. and, and we've been talking about. It, let's talk about this epic rap battle that. Um, you want to talk about the rap battle that that you won, but well, I didn't win. I didn't win the rap battle. You but didn't. I won the whole battle. You won the you whole see, battle. I won the whole battle. Okay. There was more than just the rap. battle. Okay. Rap so who battle? won the rap battle? Well. Here's the thing. I heard there was some um, discrepancies with the judging. There was. Uh, we had a fellow here named, uh, by that we call him, Get Him Steve Dave. Mm-hmm. And he is a character, shall we say. And he is a homer, shall we say. Mm-hmm. He, uh, you know, he, he likes to, um, metaphorically, I believe he suckles at the teats and appendages of Tom Steve Dave. Okay. Per se. And as such, uh, there is a built-in bias against Against you and against uh, the fine gentlemen uh, uh, by the names of Mike Zapsik, Ming Chen, and Sunday Jeff, and so we are battling an uphill battle uh, um, from the onset, I believe. Okay. So, and and this doesn't just apply to the rap battle. If you listen to the whole episode, 
you'll see his judging is way off. I don't okay. Know anything else? So. Well, I mean, so, like yeah. strictly speaking, strictly speaking, it was the tell him Steve Dave two hundredth episode. Was, absolutely. So I mean, like I feel like they should be picking judges who are going to favor them. I feel like uh, that's, in this that's case, kind of, I believe that's what I happened. feel like that's kind of a smart move. Yeah, and I love Walt. Yeah. Walt was like, yes, yeah. so and Walt was like, you guys agreed. It's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> I never agreed to this shit. But he's here. People, uh, he's people have a love hate relationship with him. Some people love him. Well, not love is strong. Some people like him. Other people can't stand him. Okay, so, so it's kind of like you. Uh, I, you know what? Not, it's kind of like me. You know, not not even, <laughs> not even. I, I believe it's stronger. It, it's it's much stronger than that. It's much stronger than that. So, so uh, do we get to? Um, would you like to hear some uh, some of the the rap here? Yeah, I would if actually. You here, for um, for those who haven't heard it, I've heard the rap. So for those who haven't heard it, now the the main complaint against me was mine was too long, which is probably a um, something you've never heard before. I, I hear it every night, Samantha. <laughs> I hear it every night. Sorry, I've been waiting all day to say that to you. <laughs> I know. Feel free to comment. I will stop whenever. But uh, here we go. Let's yeah. hear it. You guys ready? All right. Yo, yo. This is for all you out there who are going through the struggle. Got people putting you down and thinking that they better than you. I'm here to tell you it ain't true. It ain't fucking true. Like Tupac said, man, it's us against the world. And this is for all my homies out there who gave up on telling Steve Dave a long time ago. Start listening to better pods. Like I, I saw comics <laughs> and the SNM show with the Zen librarian. A little shout out to you. A little shout yes. out. Yes. This is my intro. You know, yeah, you're, you're your the intro. intro. You're the intro. I fucking blow hard. <laughs> <laughs> These rhymes I spit for you. Hey, what's up, Brian J? Washed up star of making hay. Shoving fingers up his ass. I think he may be gay. <laughs> <laughs> Bri- uh, yeah, I told you about the incident. Brian had a, he had a crater up his ass. <laughs> yes. And the only way he could take a shit was if he dug his <laughs> yes. stuck his finger up there and yes. dug the crater out. Yes. So, little gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm about to pod. Dope recording was the plan. Get a buzzing on my phone. Pick up. Yo, what's up, Suzanne? Suzanne's his girlfriend. Yes. So okay. yeah, yeah, that's you know, you go straight for the straight for the throat. Straight for the throat. Straight for the throat. Straight for the throat. She's on the line of crying. I asked why so upset. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to Steve Dave and it doesn't get me wet. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, diss the pod. Good, good, good. I love right? it. Okay, I love okay. it. Okay. Oh! 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 Get on my side, asshole. Oh! <laughs> it was good. What do you want? <laughs> oh, so here, yeah, his teammates are laughing. And yeah. He's like, well, oh, that was, th- I got to admit, that was a good so one. So here's the thing it went out long. I'm telling a story here. About how they're pod- But see, like, I feel like at that point, maybe we should have cut it. Yes. And put the rest in a different verse. Like, you know, back and forth. Oh, right. Well, I agree. It should have been like a kind of a bat back. It mm-hmm. was, we did kind of go back and forth, but. That's what I'm saying. I feel like right there, it was already, ooh, it was already long. Okay. I mean, not that I'm criticizing okay. you guys. Okay. Um, I feel like at that point, it was already long. Like, it, you could have handed it to them and then taken it back. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, that's probably how we should do it next time. We trade verses, maybe. Yeah, trade verses. I, that's what I'm thinking. Because, but, like, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, that's like what a. Okay, so so if you go to like a, a, a dance off or something, you know, yes, just because I'm, I hear a, you. I'm like a huge step up fan, right. you know, you do a little dance, they do a little dance, yeah. you do a little dance, I like that. you know. Yeah. So but I'm, I'm setting up, I'm telling a story here okay, about. So you're telling the story. Yeah. You're telling the story. Pod used to be great, now it sucks, and it doesn't get her wet. Okay. It, well, you know, I mean, like, get, you know, he can't get it up, she can't get wet from him, so it's a metaphor. Yeah, yeah. See? AKA. I got it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Again, why is he rhyming so much? You said one for I, I don't you. know what a verse is in rapping. Walt is so white. <laughs> he is. He's like, I want to do a rap battle. I want you guys to be like eight mile, like face to face, like uh, you know, cutting down each other and shit. He's never seen Eight Mile. He had no idea what he was fucking talking about. <laughs> he had that. not seen Eight Mile. All he I saw was that. all he heard about Eight Mile and Eminem, and he's like, "Oh, you these guys do rap battles, right? Like getting to the faces." Yeah. So I want you to do. Me, he's never. There's no chance. He's, he's so white. Mile. I love it. He's so white. I love it. I told him the same thing. Going going like one bitch. verse. All right, let me continue. He keeps what? still going. Let me continue. <laughs> I killed him last time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta hear it. I gotta hear it. Let's just go. Right, go, right, go, right, go, right, go, right, go right. No, 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 no. Go ahead. We gotta, right. we gotta hear it. There used to be a time pot got me hot, made me shiver. Now all B wants to do is suck off Joan Rivers. <laughs> yeah, that one fell flat. But, uh, Brian, I don't, I don't know if you saw. He had a whole Twitter battle where he was sucking off Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers, yeah, I saw He's that. Telling, saying how great she was, and all, it was weird. 
It was weird. So, okay. So, let's continue. <laughs> hey, they, get, they can't all hit. They can't. It's true. They it can't it, all hit. The winner was like the beginning. I think That so. was the winner for He's me. He's himself. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta help me out. Can't get horny no more. Bullshit ads and gossip talk. Fucker, make me want to snore. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> the laughing in the background is like the best part yeah, of this. Yeah. So oh, you you want I, to love for you guys? I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't know what to do, Cliff. Want to get back in I the I love groove. the way you're trying to sound Tell really black, Tell me what to do, too. man, because you pod so smooth. <laughs> I, I'm trying. I was trying. I was just saying, you're sounding really like Asian black. Yeah. I like that. All right. Okay. <laughs> I do have one confession. No repeating what was said. Don't breathe the fucking word to be. Have a gun up to my head. That uh, Brian put up there. He he was having sex with Suzanne once. He put a gun up to her head. Okay. It was, it was, yeah. You know, it makes things more exciting. Was it loaded? Yes. Oh, nice. I believe it was. I believe there was one in the chamber. I believe there's a chamber in the gat, Sam. If I'm if I remember correctly. <laughs> You that's, don't, a nice, that's a good obscure reference. You don't <laughs> have to worry, one. baby. Tell me anything. Just whisper to the phone and let your truth sing. And you know what she said? She said, you're the king. You know what she said? She said, you're the king of all the pods. Of this, I have no doubt. Last night, I pulled up Ming and Mike, laid back and rubbed one out. <laughs> You like that? I, I didn't hear that the first time. You like that? Oh. I was driving when I heard this clearly. I didn't hear that bit. Oh, that shit. Was, uh, <laughs> it's more about her. <laughs> I came oh, my Lord, this Lord. <laughs> I, came, I came 30 times. Let my fingers... <laughs> it's good. I'm laughing. Let me finish. Good. I, I came 30 times. Let my fingers do the walking. And then I came some more when I heard you boys talking. Page flips. I love it. I love it when you rhyming. Your voice is off the hook. My pussy starts to throbbing when you're talking comic book. You you move you move me in such ways that Bri could never do. His pods have gone flat and his mush dick too. Well, shout out to you. You came up with that. That's your uh, turn. That's I, all you. Mush dick. I uh, I I I heard mush it dick. and I, I, I give you smiled. props for that. I give you a little, I, little shout out. To you. I, I smiled. Uh, and you know what I said? You know what I said? I said, I think you found your answer. I think you found your way. You can come hard anytime, because I pot ten times a day. <laughs> she said, oh, thank you kindly. Your advice I will take. Now, how about a private pot for old time's sake? I said I'd like to help you. You'll do it I all. I like that pause. Pause, pause. Yeah, the pause. Like, like, is he going right. to keep going? Yeah, keep going? I keep going. <laughs> Sorry. I said I'd like to help you. You're doing all I can. But my phone is ring, ring, ringing. Got a sweet talk fucking Pam. Pam, his mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that is my story of how I got them psyched. And now it's for some words from my main man, Mike. <laughs> Done. All right. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> so that was my verse. Then we passed off to the other guys. You want to hear the rest? Download it. Yes. On, uh, download it. On, uh, yes. Tell Steve Dave, episode 200. That's a little taste, though. I like uh, Mexican Batman said when Ming said "suck my yellow dick." It might have been the best line in Tom oh, there was Steve one. Dave yeah, yeah, history. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was. Um, a I, I actually agree with that statement. Yeah. That's um, it's like my big fat yellow cock. Yeah, something like that. Joan yeah. Rivers uh, appreciated the shout out at least. Yeah, she she ain't getting much in the way of uh, shout outs no. these days. No, but I uh, yeah that one fell flat. But uh, I thought enough people followed him on Twitter that they would get that. Yeah, apparently not. Yeah, well no no when I, I heard that and I. I, I remember the Joan Rivers thing, yeah. so I was like, oh okay, yeah, that was that was yeah, topical. I find his on here. I'm gonna. Yeah, put his in all your fans. <laughs> You've become the uh, shirts. The oh, we're gonna get here some scores for, okay. uh, uh, for uh, Ming. No. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are. But Brian had to, uh, 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 uh okay. Oh, he's judging my... Did not say that live. You were told to go for the jugglers. I was, oh. I was told it was... Oh. This isn't for the show. I'm dead serious. This is the very last. For sale, okay. Last. Oh, my God. The first line. No. No, no, no. The first line. Oh, so they write over his rap lyrics. Mm -hmm. And apparently there's one line in there that Walt wouldn't even... It was so bad. Walt wouldn't even let him say it. What, what was it? I don't know. 
I actually don't know. You don't even know? I don't know. Oh my god! I don't know. Is anybody want? want it's I think like everybody it's, wants to know. It's like the it missing. Is, this it's is the like, missing dude, lyric, dude. This is the fucking Pulp Fiction suitcase right here. Yeah. Yeah. So it'll it'll be revealed. Ooh. Well, I think we have to. Ooh. I think um yeah. You, you can't just show what's in the suitcase. Ooh. You gotta earn. You gotta earn what's in the suitcase. First line. Is that the first line? I can find After that, line. as you go there. All right. So just leave off the last <laughs> yeah, line. Just leave off that last no, line. I mean, you know what? We gotta take a break. <laughs> Oh, that, that, I guess yeah, we'll yeah, 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 yeah. right. 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 we'll 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 here. Here. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Alright. Let's take five minutes. Let's take five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Princes and You know, the old man needs time to uh to rest himself. I guess we'll have it here. You can't say that. Alright. Alright. Let's take five minutes. Let's take five minutes. Alright, is it coming up? Apparently in five minutes. So for originality had an eight for the obscure references. Because there was a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You did talk for a while, yeah, so they're going to judge right, you for I'll, a while. I'll pull it up later. Okay. I'll pull it up later. So that was the rap battle. Um, I technically, I liked yours. Didn't win. Technically, didn't win. You know, because I freaking get them judging. Just want to. I just want to remind everybody listening. If you listen to that, you think I lost. You think Brian won. All right, that's cool. You're agreeing with Gedim though. You're as bad as he is. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So, uh, you know, until next time, though, you know, we're, we're doing this again. I, I would imagine you would. Uh, you know, maybe should I cut my raps a little more short? Yeah. It's, I, I, it's tough. Like, like it's I tough. feel like, well, well here's it's the thing, too, with roll. going back and forth. Because, like, I like the going back and forth. Yeah. I like the idea of going back and forth. But the idea, too, with that principle is that, like, Brian's going to say something mm-hmm. and then you're going to have to like say your rap is right. going to have to somehow answer what he said. That's, t- that's true. So, freestyling like, yeah, though. Exactly. So you would need to be able to freestyle. And, yeah. and I don't know if you guys are capable of that. If I practiced uh, enough, if I put my mind to uh, it, maybe not. Um, but, but I mean, even if you just went back and forth yeah. Um, and like, maybe even you guys set the parameters like, okay, so, so, you know, like verse one, you know, I'm going to go after your girlfriend. You're going to go after my wife, something sure. like that. Yeah. You know, verse two, I'm going to go after your pod. You're going to go after my pod. So you kind of have like a, like a basis of it. Yes. So you're both kind of attacking each other for the same things. You know, that's, that's the way I would do it if I was, you know, getting into a rap battle, which I never would. You you may be called, you know, you stick around long enough. Oh, yeah. I you might, may be, I uh, might, I might you be, be called. in the next one. I might be called to the you firing line. You may be in line. the next one. I'm just saying. Christ. I'm just saying. But that was fun. It was fun. It was fun writing that. It's fun. How long did it take you? Uh, I, I worked on that. Um, Walt told me he wanted to do this like a week and a half before, maybe two okay. weeks. Yeah, I started early. Okay. I remember like when I had was, a whole it was bunch it was shit. one day that you were um you were at like your kid's birthday party or something and I was going to the Dublin house to yeah. watch the Boston game and oh. I'm like, Hey, what are you doing? And you're like writing raps oh, at yeah. a children's oh, yeah. birthday party, I'm looking to escape and that's I'm like right. you're that's as, like a really weird thing. That's right. You're like, What are you doing? It's like I'm drinking a slurpee and writing rap lyrics. Yeah. It's like, huh? and, yeah, and, and you're like, Yeah, I'm at like my kid's birthday party drinking a slurpee writing rap lyrics yes. and I'm like I'm what? like reading the tweet and like I even like turned to somebody, I was like, Can, can you make sense of what Ming said to me? Because I'm not <laughs> sure I'm am I, tr- am I yeah, drunk? I'm not sure I'm quite understanding. Yes. Um so there you go. So yeah. There you go. So <coughs> uh, uh, you know, somebody somebody asked if uh you guys could get a rematch sooner and have uh It's up to Walt. Walt. This is all Walt stuff. Well, well, Walt, Walt Walt, Walt, Walt Walt's in. not Walt ain't rapping. No chance. He's white. I mean, we're all they're all white. But like Walt's Walt. really white. I, Mike is whiter than Walt is by far. True, but Walt is like angry. I think he'd probably be good at rapping. I thought he. I think if he. I think he would be. I, in fact, I'm scared of him. Yes. Yeah. I feel like he would Absolutely. have some. I feel like he would have some good beats. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, can um. Th- can I make a request? The uh, yes. the next rap battle. Can yes. you can you throw in the phrase? I saw you buy a dildo. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Yes. I don't know how that would work. And that is the can... Bruins Canadians game starting puck drop. All right. Uh, uh, so, uh, game six son. at Montreal. Son. It's on. It's on. It's on. Fucking cry. Um, so what's next? Um, just wanted to give everybody a heads up. Uh, if you're a fan of the show Comic Book Man, I've never heard of that show. Uh, it's a show that takes place in Kevin Smith's uh, comic book store in Red Bank, New Jersey. I've never been there. Reality show stars uh, four extremely handsome young men. Uh, one more handsome than the other. Uh, the most handsome, an Asian man, a man from the of Asian descent. Oh yeah, what's his name? Ming Chen. I've never heard of him. Well, you should. Okay. Sucks to be you. Uh, sure. 
Season four is coming up. We have secured a fourth season. What's funny is I was reading um, an article on all the shows that were canceled mm-hmm. and like renewed this mm-hmm. week. Um, obviously, the the biggest one that I'm happy about, Agents of Shield, yes. has been renewed. Absolutely. So I could like stop fucking sweating bullets that like my new favorite show is going to like be gone. Yes, like the river. Um, and um, it got to AMC and it was like renewed, you know, this, that, yes. Walking Dead, Talking Dead, yes. nothing else. And I'm like, man, they completely grazed over the fact that Comic Book Men has been renewed for a it has season. Been. Doesn't doesn't need to be put, yes. It doesn't need to put be, no. put it be put on a list. No, it anything. doesn't. It is the list. We are the list. That's right. So uh, so Comic Book Men yeah, season, season four, four coming up, and um, you know, they need people to be on the show. Awesome. So open casting is available now. Go open to casting. Comicbookmencasting.com. Samantha. Are there any criteria for the criteria pe- people is, who are going to be on the show? Uh no, the normal criteria is over 18. Um otherwise uh, uh I think they do that. Now, are do you guys do it or No, it's a they have a company. Okay. So what is what does the company look for? You know, uh, uh, they look for um they know so here's how it works if you watch a show. Like people don't we don't just set up cameras and you're waiting for something cool to come in. Otherwise it would take eighteen years to film an episode. Yeah. <laughs> what they do is they know they know what generally what we're into. Um I'm into mid eighty uh, early to mid eighties toys and the other guys are older than me, so they're into late sixties, seventies toys. So they know that. So when they cast people, they look for stuff that they think we would be into, that yeah. we would get excited. Uh, for the most part, we don't know what's coming in. So the reactions you see are genuine. Like, holy shit, like, you know, 12-inch G.I. Joe or, you know, G.I. Joe aircraft carrier. That part is cool. So they cast these people um, so we're not sitting around all day Okay. going, hey, got anything good? No. Uh, either buyers or sellers. If yeah. you want to buy something, you can apply. You don't necessarily have to be selling something. So, But if you look, look on the application here, um, there's the usual first name, last name, address. Uh, how would you describe yourself? Kind of like job application a little oh, bit. Yeah, true, true. Uh, why would you like to be part of the show? Oh, fuck me. Oh, uh, did you watch? The- <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, th- it's this- been like two minutes. Are you serious? Is this how it's going? Oh, this is, this is how gonna, it's going. This, the rest flip of the phone. Is- flip your phone over. No, I'm not flipping flip my your phone, over. phone over. Oh, We're not doing this. <laughs> this isn't sex, okay? I'm oh. just going to flip over when you tell no, me to. Flip the phone. I'm not flipping the phone. All right. Well, okay. Christ. Obviously, things are going good. It's early. It's two minutes in. Uh. Hello, everybody, and welcome to game seven. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, sorry. So uh, and then and then uh, you know they ask you what you might want to sell and what 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 you what uh, you might want to buy and uh, it's easy, it's easy. So come be on the show. Come uh, come come negotiate with Walt. Come come. Ne- come negotiate with Walt. It's the only time that you'll see him smile. Yes. Come joke around with me. Yeah. Have me. Uh, usually, I take the buyer's side. Come buy. Come take. Come have me take your side. Well, usually, no one takes your side. Come. So. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Come. Uh, come have some knowledge dropped on you by Walt Flanagan. Come get made fun of by Brian Johnson. It's true. And be on TV. Be on the greatest TV show on earth, Comic Book Men. You should fill this out. I should? You should fill this out. Do I actually like have to fill it out? You should fill this out. I want to see what happens. You should fill it out. Uh, oh, I will. You, will. you should fill it out. I'm just, it can't hurt, right? So uh, the website, again, is comicbookmencasting.com. Real easy. Yeah, so, uh, so sign up and... Um... You know, that way we could uh, we can make fun of you on the pod. Yes. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, that too. Yeah, that exactly. Too. Absolutely. So, yes. beer. 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 Now, beer. I have here in my hand a packet of Hodgson Mill dry yeast. I read this article about Jim Cook from uh, founder of the Sam Adams Brewing Company. Okay. And somebody asked him, I was like, dude, you, you're you constantly drinking. How do you not get drunk? Like you know, I got the same question the other day, except it was Sam. You're constantly like drinking beers for the yeah. show, and just why are you beer. so drunk? Why, no, how do you stay so thin? That's the question I got. How the do you other stay day. so thin? How do you stay so thin? Oh, I starve myself. Oh, really? I'm, I'm kidding. I run. Do you put your fingers on your throat? <laughs> no, I, that's not even funny. Um, no, that, no, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not funny. <laughs> uh, I take it back. <laughs> no, I uh, I run a lot. You do. Yeah. So so around. I mean, like, yeah, you have a good metabolism. The, the car. Yeah. Exactly. I'm young. I run a lot. You know, I work it off, but like, God, in like five years, I'm going to be like huge. Yeah. Well, well all when it all goes. Yeah. yeah. When, when it all, down. when it all goes away. So tell us this. Uh, uh, so this Jim, Cook, that Jim Cook pulled the guy aside. He's like, yo, yo, I got a secret. Uh, what I do is I eat yeast before I drink. One teaspoon for every beer I'm going to drink doesn't get me drunk. And apparently the shit works. 
I guess. I don't know. So I'm about to try it now. But you, you've up. already been drinking. I drank half a beer. Okay. I have drank a beer. I got another what? I got another one and a half to go. So I don't want to, you know, I got to drive home tonight. I don't want to be drunk. So here, I'm opening up a packet of yeast Ew, here. That can't be just good to eat. And um, I mean, what else am I supposed to do? So I'm uh, here. Oh, uh, oh, God, that looks disgusting. Ew, oh, how's it oh. taste? Like all Brian from... <laughs> So uh, from from this point on, the podcast will be entirely up to me, mm-hmm. since Ming is like cooking bread in his mouth. Oh, it actually doesn't taste bad though. It's like, it's, 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 yeah, like I got all over bread. In my mouth. Can you chew with your mouth shut? I'm sorry. <laughs> so um, apparently, uh, this is the the surefire way, and it was funny too because I was out the other day with um with somebody and I was talking about how, how we podcast about beers and this and that. And they said, Oh, you should mention the surefire way not to get drunk that I read about. You have to like eat some yeast before, before you drink. And I'm like, man, it's funny. Cause this has been on the outline for like three weeks now and we just never mm-hmm. get to it. So, uh, um, so we are drinking now. We'll see. If we this we are drinking now. What of, are we drinking? We are drinking a beer that's not even out yet. This is provided to us. By, by our favorite brewery. By our favorite brewery. The Dewclaw Brewing Company. The Dewclaw Brewing Company. Of Baltimore, Maryland. Of Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, this is a we, beer um, we pretty much have drank every beer that they have. It's a beer called Funk. And um, I figured this one would be especially great for Ming because it's, um, it's blueberry citrus wheat and Ming loves like fruity shit. I do. And this is amazing. Like yeah. this is literally <laughs> the first time we've had it ever. It's not out until, uh, what is today, the 12th? Mm-hmm. Two days. Two days from now. So, um, uh, so do you want to read this little description of it? I do. The description of Duclaw Brewing Funk is slide into the groove of the soulful fusion of American wheat and hops that sets the rhythm for a stunning encore of blueberry and Meyer lemon. Now tear the lid off this sucker because you're going to just dig it. I love it. Uh, yeah, love it's, it. it's a, that's a good. And, uh, you, you know, I, re- I, um, you know, I love reading these things is uh, because I heard the copywriter of Duclaw. He gets, yes. gets a little thrill when we read his, he, uh, his, his and, work. Yeah. We, well, are, are, we are, dude, we love your work. Yeah. We, we love everything about this, uh, this company. Yes. Um, so I went down there last week. Uh, my favorite author. You Chris, did. Here's, here's how much we love him. We both took separate trips yeah, down we there. we both took separate trips. Three the, hour drive. Yeah. The day after one another. Yeah. Um, so I was going down last Tuesday mm-hmm. for, uh, my favorite, my favorite author, this guy named Christopher Moore. He has a new book out and, um, he was doing a, a book signing there. And, uh, so I decided, well, screw it. I'm going to go down and, you know, see if they'll, they'll give me a, uh, a tour of the brewery, which they don't actually do. For, for the public. VIP. VIP status. Um, and my mother said podcasting would get me nothing. I know. Um, so, so I went down there. Um, we were met by, uh, well, I was met by, uh, Morgan, who, uh, Morgan. 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 Ming loves Morgan. You love Morgan. I love Morgan. We all love Morgan. Morgan, <laughs> we love you. Yes, Morgan, we do love you. Um, Morgan is the, uh, head of, uh, head of sales. Head of sales. And marketing. Exactly. Um, so, so I got there and, uh, the first thing I learned was I walked in and, and, you know, they went to, she went to pour me a beer. So when we were walking around, I, I had a beer and they have, she, like open taps. Yes. She, uh, she so said, just hand you a glass and like, here, mm-hmm. she which said, one did you pick? Uh, Ooh, God, I forget the name of it. It's one that you can only get on tap, like blue moon or something, but it's not blue moon. No. I'm only thinking that cause, okay. uh, cause, cause I <laughs> don't eat the yeast. Um, <laughs> It just yeast. sounds so dirty. I ate the yeast. Um, so anyway, so so she said something about sweet. She said, "Obviously, you've tried the sweet baby Jesus." And I said, "No, I haven't, because I'm allergic to peanuts." Yeah, sweet baby Jesus is uh, it's heaven. It, yeah, it it's is chocolate a, and peanut butter. Yeah, it's a it's a darker beer. Yeah, it's a, and um, you're allergic. You have a, a I, I raging have, peanut allergy. I have a raging nut allergy. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so I said I I can't drink it. And she goes, "Actually, you can." Uh, because, ha ha. Ha ha. So I was like already taken aback. Um, because apparently, uh, like the oil and peanuts would be too thick to mm-hmm. make beer with. It's like a flavor extract. Yeah. 
And um, so it's it's not really like peanuts. It's hypoallergenic so, yeah. peanut shit. So, uh, so we go through the entire tour. They they give me enough friggin' beer to keep me in beer for quite quite a while. Yeah. And, um, Wait, were, were you just going down there and just kept handing you beer? Yeah, she just kept like piling beers into my arms. And then I get to, <sighs> to the end and we were all talking. Like the brewers came out and they were talking. And everybody who met me was like, oh my God, you're the Zen librarian. I was really? like, I was like, holy shit, you people like know you us. Listen to this bullshit? Yeah, they like oh listen God. to us. Um, so, uh, so, so we were all just kind of shooting the shit, talking yeah. about different things that they do and like this and that. And uh, they got me like a six pack of Sweet Baby Jesus and they opened one like right there. They're like, well, here you go, drink it. And I was like, I'm like afraid to try this. Yeah, you like, go to an anaphylactic like, yeah, shock. Like, I was like literally like I, I was like putting the bottle up to my lips like really slow. Hold on, um, Morgan, take grab my EpiPen. If I pass out, stab me with it. Yeah, like basically. <laughs> um And so how did it like like what what um it, it like tasted take me through it. You, you pop open the top. Pop open the okay. top. Um and very slowly I'm I'm like first I smell it and it smells like peanut butter. So now I'm like really worried. Yeah, where you're like like a sip? A li- yeah, I okay. took like a little. And you, you went, um, and then you waited, waited for that. Uh, you know, the the you waited to pass out and die. Yeah, and it, I didn't. But it, it wasn't even like usually when I taste like peanuts, peanuts. I I have like a. Did you say penis? I said peanuts. N- peanuts. Okay, but, just making sure. Um. Yeah. No. Usually I have. Um, <laughs> How old am I again? I'm just kidding. Continue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Continue. Um. <laughs> so. Uh, yes. You taste it. Peanuts. So yeah, so I taste it and um it tastes like what what peanut butter tastes like, which scares me mm-hmm. because like to me when I taste peanut butter, it tastes like my impending doom. Yes. Um but nothing happens and then like then I start to get like a little itchy in my neck and I'm like, "No, this is clearly me making this up in my head." Okay, and was it? It was because okay, I was Thank just like God. I'm not allergic to this and I took another sip and um Thank God. and yeah, like so so then I went to Max's Tap House after it, which they have Duclaw on tap there. And they had Sweet Baby Jesus. And I'm just like, there's like a hundred some beers there. And I was just like, I'll take what I just drank because I, I just wanted to order it. On tap? Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. So thank so, you. You gave me half the beers I gave you. You, you, uh, you Yeah. Well, me. yeah. Thank I you. mean, like, obviously. So I gave you half of my funk that they gave I me. That. Um, did you try the Hell on Wood? I have not tried the Hell on Wood. <gasps> that's my favorite one. If Is you don't want to try it, I'll take it no, back. No, 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 no. <laughs> if you don't want to try it, I'll take it back. Dude, I'm there only was one the, guy. Uh, there was the like Coco Fuego. Coco Fuego, yes. That's a good one. Yes, Brimstone. Um, which I actually found that in um, the Wegmans up in Woodbridge. They had Coco Fuego there, like in bottles. And I was like, no shit, I've never seen this beside at the brewery. Yeah. Um, Brimstone, which is a uh, red wine style ale. Yes. Um, haven't, I tried that while I was there. Higher alcohol by mm-hmm. volume, like 10 or 15 or something. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, well, that was the same thing with Hell on Wood. It was like 11 or something. Oh, yeah. Um, they, did you know they, may, they make one called Colossus? It's 25 percent alcohol by volume 20 it's a beer 25 it's amazing um so we got the uh the whole thing uh they gave me the newest beer funk but they also have another new beer coming out yes tomorrow yes um named and after. it's named after morgan yes um which to me like when she said that i was just like you could just die right now because like that's my goal in life like yeah, if you get if, a beer if like i'm you like I, I there's nothing to live for anymore like to get a beer named yeah. after me like I could- especially with the most kick-ass name now her name is morgan like we said um she's a very beautiful girl she is she's got a fiery personality she does she, and, um and, and this 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 beer she helped create for her birthday a few yes. years ago and um one of the uh the the brewers came up with the name. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to know how it came to be. Oh, she told me a story. Uh, well, yeah. 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 Um, and the beer name is called Morgasm. 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 Matches her personality exactly, I should say. Now, I'll, Hashtag I'll pray for Debbie. Well, okay. You, agree, you do not agree. I agree completely. Agree and and it's like, you know, the, the box and the label, it's like pink. Yes. Um, and the O is a grapefruit because it has, uh, it's a grapefruit slice because yeah. it has grapefruit in it. it but zest. then there's like a splash behind it. Yes. And she's like, she's like, you know, we went through so many different like stylizations. <laughs> yeah. She's like, because no matter how we drew it, it looked like, like a big like. Oh. That's all I'm saying. You want to look appetizing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So there, uh, that beer is launching tomorrow at, uh, at uh, Max's, Max's Tap House. Max's Tap House in uh, uh, Bel Air, Maryland. Yes. 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 Some orgasm. Orgasm. Yeah. So uh, how long were you there? How um, long did you get this private tour? I was there probably for like an hour and a half, maybe. That's a long time. 
for you know they're not a huge brewery. Well, yeah, no, and um, it's you know, big, we walked like, around and and she showed me all the like, the different places that they had. That was really nice of her. It was it was, it was amazing. An and, you know, out of her ev- day and- everyone I everyone I met, they um, and it made me feel so much better about liking them as a brewery because it was like such a family atmosphere. Like sometimes when you go places, you learn like the truth about like a company or something. You know, you learn that maybe as much as you like Starbucks coffee, maybe they're a bunch of assholes to their you employees. Them, like, or maybe at- <laughs> or maybe let's not even say Starbucks. Let's go a little more local. No, Say there's like a really nice local coffee place <laughs> somewhere around the yes, Red Bank they're not, area. It, they're not as and, nice. Yeah, and, and they seem nice <laughs> and they have good don't, coffee. Don't ruin my illusions. And, and you think that they're good people, but... It turns out that they're really just slave driving assholes. Oh. Um, so say, like, you know, sometimes you work for a company and you find out that they're a bunch of fucking assholes. Um, not the case at Dewclaw Brewing. You know, I went there and they were just like the nicest people. That's Everyone, good. it was like That's a family good. atmosphere. Like I was instantly welcomed in, sure. um, you know, and, and everyone just loved me and everyone just was loved it all dudes? us. All the, no, they're, they have, uh, they employ a lot of females. Actually. Yeah. The brewers were all men. Yeah, were, they like, were they like, Hey Sam. Well, they were like, Oh my God, you're the Zen yeah. librarian. And it's oh, funny when people oh, refer hey. to me like that. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so uh, so yeah, they were they were amazing. Sent us home with with a lot of a lot of nice beers. Yeah, so it was worth the trip. So yeah, so we're we're drinking their new one, Funk. If you're into uh, definitely like, a privilege. Yeah, if you're into like a, a nice lighter beer, definitely try this out. Yeah, it's more of a summer. Yeah, definitely it's, summer. It's and it's funny too because I've tried blueberry beer before. I'm not a huge blueberry fan. Um, I've tried blueberry beer, but this it has like citrus in it too. So uh. And it's, you know, not too, you know, straight up 5% alcohol yeah. by volume. Straight so, up five, not four and a half, yeah. not four, five. Yeah. To add that little extra kick in there. Exactly. So, uh, so then you went down the next day. I did. Uh, Duclaw does a thing. They combine two of my greatest loves. Women. Running. Women and potting. Okay. My two other favorite loves, uh, running and beer. Every, every first Wednesday of the month, they do a, uh, they collaborate with a running company and they do a run right from, um, one of their restaurants, one of their breweries. And you go, uh, you register, you run either three miles or five miles, and then you get back and they give you a ticket for a free beer. Well, it's a penny beer. Yeah. Well, but give, you're not paying for Yeah. They give me a ticket. That's the yeah. thing. Like, so it's technically you're paying a penny. Yeah, you're not but allowed. they're not, you're not paying the penny. It's so stupid. There's a law where you have to pay for the beer. So, yeah. Okay, like you have to charge penny. something. Yeah. They charge you a penny. So they charge you a penny. Yeah. And, and um, you go up and you redeem it. Exactly. You, you get a beer. And so, whoever is sponsoring the beer pays like the 50 or $60 for the, the Penny beers, yes. for however many runs. Yes, I there believe are. it's a uh, sponsor. Well, Duclaw, uh, Charm City Run, and Mizuno, the yeah. Mizuno Corporation. Mizuno, that's who, who swipes their card. Yeah. So I had just come off of full marathons. So I was a little sore, and um, I was like, "Well, I can, I can do three point two. I can do four point nine. I'm like, screw it. I'm doing. I'm here. Yeah, don't be a pussy. All the way down. Don't puss out. Did four point nine. You have to impress women. I have. I have to impress myself. Women, men, and women. I don't. I don't discriminate when I try to impress. True. People. Ming Ming just loves. I do. I just everybody. love. I just love. I'm just glory whore. Glory <laughs> whore. <laughs> yeah. You're speechless. I have, I have no. Comment. So I I did the five mile run and I uh, I felt great. I felt absolutely great. The weather was perfect. Yeah, it was, it was a great, great day. It's great route. Baltimore and was beautiful. Honestly, it is a lot more fun running when you know you got free beer at the end. Oh, yeah. I'm not even kidding. Oh, yeah. I once ran when I was training for my first marathon. Yeah. Like, I didn't drink beer the entire time, except this one day I was like, if I can run 10 miles, it was on LBI. It was yeah. five miles to the lighthouse from five miles yeah. back. I was going to treat myself to it like a, a big beer. ass bottle okay. of Guinness. Um, and like, I think like around mile six, I like really just, it started raining and I really just hated life at that point. Yeah. I just kept saying like, I want a fucking Guinness for dinner. Now. Yeah. So I, I ran the 10 miles and that was like the one treat I gave myself in nice the, 22 the, yeah, the few months that I was marathon training. Nice. So. Nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I did the longer route, got back, got my free beer and I met, uh, before, before I started running though, I, you know, I met Morgan. Yes. Um, very cool. Yes. She was wearing Lululemon. Yes. Plus in my book. And uh, I met Dave Benfield, the founder, CEO of Duke Club Brewing, and a uh, great guy. He started out home brewing on his stove, had the kit, uh, you know, making batches on a stove, and, uh, you know, thought he had something and expanded it into this freaking empire. And he, and he clearly had something. Clearly had something. Uh, superior craft beers. That's what he had. And, yes. Uh, yeah. Talked to him for a while. I got my picture with him. And, uh, I didn't get to meet him. He was like on his deathbed when I went sick. down there. He was yeah. sick. That's why so, I th- you'll meet him soon. Yes. You'll meet him soon. I will. Yeah. You will. So um uh, great guy. He's um he he uh he was 
tipped off that we were plugging his business, so he was very happy about yeah. that. Yeah. Knew our background. Um, apparently, a lot of people at the company they listen to our show and they watch the TV show. So that's that's yeah, it's cool that we weren't going in cold. Yeah, yeah. So uh, so great bunch of people. Yeah, I uh, got my beer. I, yeah. what, you're asking what did I redeem my free ticket for? Uh, I needed a sweet baby Jesus on tap. Obviously, and it was amazing. Obviously, and I had I uh, I was hungry. Took partook in some of the food. The food was amazing as well. I can't wait to go back. And uh, yeah, I was quite. I was there for a while. I didn't leave till about nine thirty. So. Three hour drive back, got home late, but yeah. totally worth the trip. And, um, some people, you know, some of you like you drove six hours to run forty five minutes and drink for an hour, you know, about an hour or so. The math maybe not correct on that. Yeah, totally, it was totally. Oh worth yeah, it. no, it was totally, totally it was totally. It. I mean, I made more of a day of it, but I, it definitely just just going down there to to hang out with them. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you know? Um, it's good to you know. It, hey, it's fun to tweet. Yeah, back that's and what forth, I'm saying. Yeah, and, but I want to meet people. I'm yeah, like, any anybody who who's looking for like a really good beer, they're like my first go to now. Yeah. Um, so thank, uh, thank God you were at. I was talking to to Dave, the owner, and uh, I was like, yeah, I was like, dude, thank you for expanding into New Jersey. Yeah, like I, I don't know, you know, th- just thank you in yeah. general. He's like, man, uh, you know, before we went in there, I, I talked to the Jersey distributors. Like, no, don't do it, don't do it. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. Yeah, there, there's too much up there. You're gonna get lost. I want somebody to start serving them on tap. Yeah, up here. Yeah, that's like my newest goal in life yeah, is wanna, to get them yeah. on tap. But uh, they're just you know they're, they're a distributor. The people that they're paying yeah. money to to get the stuff up here, are like, no, no, don't do it, don't do yeah. it. Yeah. And I'm like, listen, if you guys, it's superior- like wildly successful. Like so far, yeah. people, like people, I, I know I've, that, like, I've seen people up here, yeah, drinking. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I, I had a friend who, um, who I don't know if she was listening to the show or she saw me tweet about it or Instagram about it, probably, and she was like, "Where did you get that sweet baby Jesus?" Yeah. And I was like, "Down the road in Middletown." Yeah. And you know, now, now when I go into a, a liquor store, I see it everywhere. Like, I don't think there's a liquor store that I've been in in the past like few weeks that hasn't had Duke yeah. Law. So it, it really, it, it's nice to see it, like littler places you know kind of reaching out the same way um, yeah it's telling man listen if you stand out in a crowded market you stand out bar yeah. none you know you just gotta get that attention so that's that's what we're here to do we're exactly. gonna blow you guys up and uh you know and frankly uh you know smaller businesses that have good shit like i will support them um tooth and nail and um i will be behind you and uh you know sending us a free beer doesn't hurt i'll admit to that you know, yeah 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 you know, exactly you know, we gotta sample the product yeah, it's tr- it's yeah, true. It's, it's true. Product, just I mean, to make sure it's up to par. Ming, Ming is a whore for things. I am, but uh, you know, Morgan got her own beer. Do you think? You think we could get? We should get our own beer somehow. Oh, I don't yeah, know. This, it's this, not, this not is the, what you're gonna start pimping now. We want our own have beer. To be from them, but it, well, here's the big thing. It's like it's one thing to you know brew your own beer. Your friend brews a beer, slaps a label on there with your name on it. Great, but like a, a real legit company. Oh yeah, a beer after you. And I love Morgan. She's just like, eh, should I be more excited about this? I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah, you should like – that. Like, like I said, th- if this was me, like I'd be dead already. Like that's, you know, huge. Yeah. So so thank you, Duclaw. Thank you, Duclaw. Congratulations, um, Morgan. Yeah. The, thank, uh, you, thank you for everything. You yeah. Guys. The, the new beer is amazing. Morgasm. Oh, yeah. Funk. Funk. Funk is amazing. Um, Morgasm is going to be amazing. Yes. So. And, and – Where's the other one? Hell on wood or Hell on wood? That's on like wood? my new favorite. Why one. is it called Hell on wood? Um, it's uh like aged in bourbon barrels. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that, I love bourbon. Yeah. So Bourbon's it's great, so, yeah. No, it's it's like I was actually drinking it this this week. I was at um. You went to yes. Yeah, you went to something cool, man. I went to uh this music fest. I take pictures for for a band. Yes. Um and uh, Harper's fellow, what up, Harper's fellow, and um. They were they were performing this thing called Livestock this week. Little weird. Um, it was one day of peace, love, music, and like zebras or something. I f- think that was the so tagline. livestock, as in like at a farm. Yeah, it was at a farm. This farm in uh, Legacy Farm, Legacy Farms or Legacy something in in Howell, New Jersey. Okay, was it Max Yerger's farm or whatever from Woodstock? <laughs> no, it was okay, not. Just made, just made it was. Sure. Um, so yeah, so it was this farm. And I guess they do this thing every year where like people come and they have like vendors and you could do like pony rides and they and they have a zebra. Okay. That's like the cool thing. Um the Why zebra you, What does zebra have to do with livestock? Zebra's like a safari. Animal. Yeah, I know. The, it, it was one zebra. Um okay. And um it it's actually its hoof was like injured. Oh, okay. So it's so a rescue. Well, sort of. I, 
I mean, I, I guess, like, I don't know. I think it's the same zebra a few years ago. Like, the zebra got out of a zoo. Like, it escaped. And it was, like, running around with, like, another horse or something. I, I don't know. It's, like, it, it's a weird story. I wasn't quite following it. Escape from fucking jungle habitat <laughs> like, up in yeah. North New Jersey. Was, okay, okay, let's was, just say that. It was something fucking weird. Um, so, its its hoof was injured, so it was limping around. So, it didn't move much. I got a picture of it laying down. It was okay. kind of painful to watch it move. So, um, but, yeah, so livestock. Um, livestock. And I had all this extra beer that I didn't know what to do with it. It was kind of a BYOB thing. Oh, so you brought it up with you. So I brought it and was sharing uh, it with all the members of Harper's Fellow. I was wondering where that came from. I yeah. thought you got it there, which I was like, oh my God. There's no, so no. Oh God, I brought it with me. Okay. Um, so I was kind of sharing it with all the members. But they, they, it was like this cool thing. It was this huge barn that was like probably like, I don't even know. It's like probably like three times the size. Three of the stashes. Sta- Let's say three stashes. Three stashes. Okay. And then maybe like three stashes like wide sure. too. So we're talking like nine, nine stashes. Yeah. <laughs> that's huge that's, yeah it's like okay. a huge bar and was, it, was it like hay bales and shit like that no it, everything was cleared out and then they had like all the merch did it bins. look like hee-haw <laughs> no it was very clean the hee-haw was, honeys remember the hee-haw honeys it was clean um, there were horses everywhere that you could like pet and the zebra was like limping around yeah um, and then they were serving uh, hamburgers and hot dogs but yet there were no cows so I didn't I didn't, oh, didn't want to ask about that right um, the zebra is like metal though yeah, well, the well, zebra, the, I mean, it was like a tiny zebra, too. It wasn't Still, like, it was like, like a huge zebra. I, got, so, I brought a zebra. So they had like, like this barn and y- y- like the band set up on the stage and played. It was actually pretty cool. It was That's really cool. good for picture taking. Yeah. I, I had a great night. Um, but I was drinking Dew Club beers. I got to see a fucking zebra this week without leaving New Jersey, yeah, without did, going any, to a zoo. But these were all kind of like folk rock bands. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah. It kind of fit the theme. Yeah, no, it kind of fit the theme. And um, it was good. It was actually fun. It was one of the more interesting venues that I've, I've cool. seen. Yeah. I'm so, down with that. so livestock, they apparently do it. Um, they, hopefully they'll do it again. Um, livestock, in, is this like Jersey only or do they tour? I think it's, it's like Jersey Lala, only. Lala I think it's, it's just this one, this one thing. It's like one day, like I said, you know, livestock was three days of peace, love, and yeah. music. This is like one day of one like day. peace, love, music, and zebras okay. or something. Livestock. Livestock. And the zebra's name was Zebro. 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 Okay, somebody was clearly high when they named that zebra. Like, yeah. Zebro. So, uh, so yeah. So, uh, if you're in New Jersey and you feel like seeing a zebra without going to a zoo, that's the place to and do it. Hear apparently, awesome music. Yeah, and- that's apparently the place to do it. I guess this is private land where you could bring your own beers. I guess. Well, like, yeah, that was like okay. the thing. Like they had beer that they were selling, but you could also. Um, Did you take the brown acid? Don't take the brown acid. Yeah, don't don't take the brown acid. Yeah. Um, it. Uh, yeah, so so it was you know like we we got to bring our own beer, but we couldn't leave like the barn with it. No. Um. So so yeah, it was it was kind of, you know, I, I was drinking with farm animals. Yes. It was a little weird, bah. but yeah, it was it was a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. So yeah. I like it. So. All right, let's talk some hockey. Yeah. Where's my uh, let's, shoot, let's, man? I used to, I can't find. It. I had the. Uh, let's fucking talk hockey. Let's talk was, hockey. Yeah, because that's where I'm at right now. All right. I, shoot, man. I had the hockey night in Canada theme here, and I can't find it anymore. The hell, man. <laughs> oh, well. Doesn't matter. Hockey. Hockey. Uh, do we start? Let's not talk about the Bruins. Well, all right. Let's, Fine, let's, let's talk about no, the no, Bruins. Let's just, let's just put it this way. The playoffs have been freaking amazing. I feel like seri- se- Every Series 2 has been amazing. I feel like Series 1. Round the 2. Wrong, yeah. I feel like uh, the, I mean, the first one's one good. The first one's certain games. I mean, watching the Habs sweep Tampa Bay, that kind of sucked. Had to be done. Um, I mean, I feel like in in round one, like the Kings were by far the best story sure, right there. Sure, absolutely. Um, so I, uh, I don't disagree with you there. So uh, I feel like um, I, I see here on the uh, the outline, all games could go to seven, and I agree it, with it that. Looks like all games are going to seven. Yeah, <laughs> all of them. Not I, not one. Or I two. agree with that. I um. Does this speak uh, speak out about you know say parity in the NHL? You know, the teams are almost equal. I was going to say, you know, I, I feel like round one really got the, the teams that you didn't expect. I mean, with the exception of the Minnesota Wild, because I really didn't think they were making it past round one. Right. Um, and I'm and not actually behold, entirely sure they deserve to. Lo and behold. Um, but I mean, like, there you go. There we go. Um, I feel like, like, you know, I didn't have any realistic hopes of Tampa Bay or the Dallas Stars doing anything. And they were no. both eliminated. Yeah. You know, and I feel like um, the Kings, I... I had my eggs in their basket the entire time. You did? You called it? I, I called it. very show? I, yeah. We have audio records. Yeah, I called it. And it was funny, too. The other day, somebody was arguing with me, and they were like, you didn't, You were rooting for 
You were rooting for San Jose. I was like, no absolutely no, not. Absolutely there was not. You never. You called them as choke artists from the choke very beginning. Choke artists from the beginning. Props um, for you. I, I drink, drink, I drink to that. I'll drink to, drink to I, that. I'll drink to Matthew Perry. That's the only reason why I want to see <sighs> the LA Kings Perry do anything. I, I don't know why I like watching him watch hockey so much, but like I really you're, love you're, Matthew you're Perry. Crazy. I like really love looking at Matthew Perry watch the Kings. Like I, it's like a fucking weird thing with me. It is. Like I, I mean, like I like watching like stars. At the, at the is games. he like the Jack Nicholson of the Kings game? I have Kings? no idea. I mean, you see a lot of stars at the Kings game. Obviously, it's like L.A. But like for some reason, it was like I guess a few years ago when they were in the Stanley Cup Finals and they showed like Matthew Perry and he yeah. had that new show uh, go on, which was actually pretty funny. Yeah. Um, and uh, I just like Matthew. Perry. I, like I don't know. I just I remember they like viewed the camera camera over him. I was like, ooh, Matthew Perry's looking good. And then they did it like fifty more times during the entire like take game. Him seriously though, it's like okay, Bill Murray's a, Cur- a Cubs fan. Like that, I can like that I can like. He's like, all right, this dude probably knows baseball. <laughs> probably a serious fan. Like Matthew Perry, I just can't. I can see Matthew Perry being into into hockey like in a serious way. Right. Same way Will Wheaton is always tweeting about the the Kings game. Uh, okay, I like Will. Will's yeah, a guy, Will's so. a good guy. Um, he was on my favorite TV show ever. So. Star Trek, the next generation? Eureka. Oh, okay. <laughs> even weirder, yeah. way more obscure show. Okay, but you know, even though it's, you know, giving you a lot of stress, maybe taking years off your life. Seven games. Games to, you know, it, it could, I don't want it to go to seven games. Of I want you don't. I want it fucking over tonight. I understand that. And I <laughs> I understand. I want it over tonight. Seven games is not okay with me when it's my team. Seven games for anybody else? Awesome hockey. Well, okay, yes. All like right. I want my team done in four. Like I, I want my team to win in four. Okay. I mean, what have you seen though? It's been very back and forth. Is yeah, that, you know, it's how, it's wh- really been back and forth. Um, I feel like uh, I, you know, Bruins won. Uh, you know, they they they. Yeah, they're literally going back and forth each game, except the last two. Last two the, the Bruins, Bruins won. won. Yeah, one and a one zero one zip mm-hmm. overtime, which took some years off your life. All of these games are taking years off my yeah. life. By the time that this playoff series is over, I'm um. Speaking of the Cubs, the Cardinals and Cubs game is starting. Okay, very nice. Uh, very nice. Uh, Bill Murray's and, watching. And I know, you know, I know it's stressful. It's good hockey. I mean, like I'm gonna have like it's white hair by the end of the you night. Will. Like, um, well, but this is why we this is why we watch it. This is why we invest a whole season it's, in stuff it's, like this. It's true. Um, and nothing is quite as exciting as uh, playoff hockey. I mean, nothing is quite as exciting as playoff anything. Um, but playoff hockey is definitely. Uh, There's almost nothing better. I mean, uh, you know, the soccer is good. Uh, playoff baseball is amazing. Um, football, play- you know, playoff anything is good. But I love, yeah, playoff hockey. I don't know. There's something about it. Um, you know, you can see the increased level because, of play. Well, it's and that's tangi- the thing. I mean, more or less, it's I pretty mean, tangible. Literally, anything could happen. Like, it's a joke that everyone says, like, oh, anything could happen in a seven game, seven game God series. But like, damn, is it shit, true? like anything could happen. It like, seven true. games is a long enough time where like shit could go really fucking bad. Yeah. Um, as, as we could tell. Um, so, so Bruins and Habs, honestly, I can't say a nasty thing about the Habs. I fucking hate them as a team. Yeah. Um, they're, they're obviously rivals of Boston. I hate them. I cannot say a single nasty thing about their play. Can't do it. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm like nothing but impressed with that series. Is it getting to the Bruins? I think a little bit. (laughs) Um, you know, particular, you know, recent issue, uh, perhaps in the last game, uh, Perhaps perpetrated by one Sean Thornton. Yes. Who, uh, if you don't know about this, uh, Sean Thornton, player on the Boston Bruins, uh, um, there's a clip of him uh, near the end of the game, the last game, uh, P.K. Subban, star player from the Montreal Canadiens. And like skates. Boston's number one enemy right now for all the wrong reasons. Right. Boston's clearly going to win the game. P.K. Subban skates past the Boston bench. Sean Thornton squirts him with his water bottle, hits his visor, uh, you know, um, raises his ire. P.K. Subban claims he can't see for a minute and a half. That is like a freaking, he went through a car wash. He can't see. But you don't do that. No, you Classless don't. Classless move. You don't. Classless exactly. Move. Especially when you're going to fucking winning. win the game. You're winning. Like, Sean Thornton, shut the fuck up and go back to sitting on the bench. Yeah, like it's a freaking, this is a great like, school yeah, move. Exactly. Like, just leave him alone, too. Yeah. Like, P.K. Subban's done nothing but be a good 
Yeah. Sportsman. He has. He's a good player. He's entire, a good player. He's a tough player. Yeah. And, and you know, he's he's like a good player. Yeah, I'm, Not to mention his brother is being brought up in the Bruins in the system. Bruin system. No, I'm sure while like, they were playing. Shut up. I'm sure they were playing. PK probably talked some smack. That's it's hockey, dude. It's hockey. Yeah. It's hockey. That's hockey. But it was a blatant. You, and if you want, you can do. Searches. Oh, yeah. No. You can see like, obviously. You, you, takes his word and squirts it on yeah. his head as he like, gets Like by. a completely it's asshole like dick eight, move. It's a freaking seven year old yeah, move. Yeah. Exactly. Now, here's what gets me. NHL sees this they're like hey man that, this that's not cool that's that's not okay that's, with that's us cool. what do we do you know can we suspend him no not suspend over offense we but we can find him and they find him the total, most awkward number ever they find sean thorne a total of two thousand eight hundred twenty dollars and, and 52, 52 cents. cents yes it's the most allowed by the collective bargain agreement i'm like <laughs> come on why even bother why even bother why, are you sending a message no absolutely yeah, not so exactly. that was odd that's like yeah he's just gonna write that check and be like here it was well worth it um so yeah uh i think i think that the habs are getting to to boston mentally um yeah okay i do um do i think that boston can still overcome it yeah yeah yeah, just put play hockey i mean boston knows what what pressure feels like just play hockey just get out of it you know just just play play the damn game yeah now you would have thought this would be some kind of somewhat of an isolated incident, squirting another player with a water bottle nope. during a game. Nope. Apparently, it happens all no. the time. Uh, apparently, the last game, um, New York Rangers versus Pittsburgh Penguins. Yep. There, there was a little scuffle in front of the net. Henrik Lundqvist, the goalie for the New York Rangers, basically dumps his water bottle on. Uh, I, I love the way you had to um to to say that he was the goalie from the New York Rangers. I'm just making, like as if not, anybody doesn't know who not Lundquist everybody, is. Not everybody here watches hockey. Fair you know, it's 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 something that you should be doing. But uh there's a clip of Henrik Henrik Lundqvist basically dowsing this dude. He like, he like basically spills this whole water bottle on yeah. him. Here's the thing, is he getting fined? Any reprimand? Nope. Absolutely not. No, because he's no. Lundquist. Yeah. It's th- there's a whole He's King Henry. He King of nothing. He is. They uh, they don't even bother trying to yeah. find him two thousand eight hundred and fifty twenty dollars <laughs> yeah, and fifty two cents. cents. Yeah. What's going on here? Why are the water bottles like it's so it's, it's just like, like stupid. It is just, dumb. Like play the damn game. No yeah. one no one t- like if if you want to fight it out with a guy, I have no problems with you taking off gloves. Yeah. You know, oh, beating sure. the shit out of a player yeah. because you want to, but squirting them with your water bottle, please. I did that when I was like five years old to get like somebody's attention. And, uh, like, that's such a Sean Avery yeah. move. Such Ex- Sean Avery exactly. Move, dude. Seriously. Sean Avery move. So, uh, so yeah. So, yeah. Um, but it was weird that they happened so close. It's like they yeah. took, they called each other. Yeah. It's, it's like, like, hey, hey what, what are we going to do to be assholes do? today? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's get in the um, heads. Yeah. So, so, uh, so Penn's Rangers. Penn's Rangers tied up 3 3. Okay. I, I know the last time I got, I didn't cry, but I got a little teary eyed. I, I had when, a tear tear come down my my cheek. Was uh, when Lemieux came back from cancer? No. Oh. When um, Rangers went on Mother's Day, and St. Louis is like. Oh, really? This weekend? Yeah. Yesterday? Like I I, I like I got like a little teary eyed because his mom just died. Oh sure, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, and like absolutely. you know, he played or I, he finally I, actually wasn't even, it wasn't even, <laughs> it, wasn't even, it wasn't even yesterday. It was the first game. It was the day after his mother died. He, yeah, he came back. Yeah, he came back and played because his mother would have wanted him to. Yes. Which, um, as much as like shit, I I really hate the Rangers. Yeah, but that's a good. Saint movie. Louis actually almost brings them up in my book. I don't even think of um, him as a Ranger. I still yeah, think of him. As I a, still as think a, of him as like any other team yeah. he played on. Um, but. He like brings up the Rangers to me. He, I like I, out of every hockey player I could think of, he's probably my top five okay. of like the most honorable people that I've seen skate the ice. I have nothing but respect for the guy. And he came back, played. His mother just died. Yeah. I mean, like, came back and played. Um, and he was like the number one star of the game. And, yes. you know, Pierre Maguire, fuck Pierre Maguire. He, uh, he was talking to him and then, you know, he skated out and he was, he was like number one fan. And, yeah. You know, he was, he kept like saying, like waving and saying thank you. And I, I got a little misty eyed. Yeah, like I got cool. a little misty eyed. And I think like I speak for everyone when I, I, I retweeted something, um, that condescending twerts actually said that <laughs> I think I speak for everyone when I say that I hope St. Louis scores a goal on Mother's Day. Yeah. I just wanted the Rangers to win yesterday. Like I wanted nothing more than the Rangers to win for St. Louis. Okay. Like that's all I wanted yesterday. And I, I mean, besides like Manchester city winning, like hockey wise, that's all I wanted. And, um, it was like a beautiful thing when they won yesterday, like to me. Yeah. And I'm I'm still calling the Rangers in seven. I got no love for either team, but they did. I'm scrappers. Yeah. They fought. 
I'd also rather, if Boston's going to make it to the next round, I'd rather be playing the Rangers yeah, than the Penguins. Sure. So I'm like praying on all my stars that the Rangers can pull it and, off. And uh, games two and three, uh, Pittsburgh clearly looked in control. Mm. So it, you know, it looked like they were going to run away with it. And those. then at uh, game four, Flurry was back. Like the flurry we all know. And the love. flurry we all know and love. Absolutely. Um, so game seven, I am also calling the Rangers as much as I hate to do it. Flurry has mental issues. He does. He he. Um, and I, and I understand. That's why the, I'm not the a, new Bobby. Lou. I get. Yeah, I get. Um, under periods of intense stress, you get your period. That's I nice. I don't get period. I get I get stressed out, and yeah, you, you get- know, uh, I think I overthink things, and maybe I don't react as quick as I should. Um, I, you know, um, bicentennial battle notwithstanding, you know, ex- <laughs> ex- excluded, but. But 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 he you know he's, he's hang been, on to your butt. I I saw an article saying he's been going to a sports psychologist. Uh, I think yeah he's gonna he's gonna fold like a deck of cards. Yeah. So when, I think the Rangers, Rangers got seven. it. Um, Hawks this, and Wilds. This is uh they <laughs> the, the Wilds Minnesota Wilds are holding their there. own. Yeah, they but are. like honestly they have talent. They, they have talent, they have but talent. they they have no right beating any of the teams that they're playing well that's called i mean a, that's anything could happen it's because called, it's the cup it's called the called the cinderella I, story I, yeah but um I, god I, I, like i would love it if chicago could just lose to get them out of there possible but like i just don't think I don't that that's it, gonna happen how happy would you be though you hate you have a intense hatred i do the Desp- despite the fact that i do wish a fan of the blackhawks good luck before every game Okay. Because he wishes me good luck before every Boston game. Uh, you don't, you know. Um, and sent me a beautiful picture of his newborn baby girl. Okay. Um, oh, a, a fan you made, a yes. friend you made uh, from the show. Yes, Zach perhaps. Keller, his his beautiful Zach. baby girl, right. Penelope. Zach, um, I got out. I got like a little picture of her the other day. She's the most adorable, nice. newest fan of the S and M show. All right. So, uh, so yeah, you know what? God, it kills me to say this, but I'm hoping the ho- the, the 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 Hawks make it make it for for them. Make so, it to the going, next round. It's going seven. Yeah, this one's going seven as well, which which is great. Um, I, I'm hoping that the the Hawks make it to the next round, so they could be beat by LA. <laughs> yeah, L- LA looks great. How about the How about the Ducks though? They're I don't gonna, know. The Ducks are trying to make their comeback. Do I think it's going to happen? No, no, no I don't no. either. I think Matthew Perry's got a hold on that. I don't either. But uh, speaking of the Ducks, uh, they interviewed a former ref uh, by the name of Kerry Frazier, uh, longtime ref. He wrote a book, which I actually own a copy of. Seems like a good guy. Uh, he pr- he recently proclaimed that the flying V is a legal NHL it would be legal in the NHL. I've seen it done. I think at least once. Have, have you really? I think so. The flying V is legal. I've I've seen it. Why wouldn't it be legal? I don't know. Yeah. Why wouldn't it be legal? I don't know. I mean, it's probably impossible to execute. Like there'd be no those, fucking those, way. Those little kids did it. Yeah. Well, that's scripted. I know. I know. Although there's not a single time that like I'm watching hockey and somebody shoots glove side that I don't go, ooh, he's fancy. He went glove. And it happens like, God, I don't even know, like a hundred times per like 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying you're playing hockey, flying V's, you know, pull it, try it. Yeah, well, good, good luck. Try to work for them. Yeah, the annexation of Puerto Rico is also a legal move. (laughs) That's more imperialism, but yes. Yes. So, uh, so Kings and, and Ducks, I still, I still got Kings. In? Six, six. Okay, I I I'd, I'd buy that for a dollar. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you could buy that for a dollar. All right. So uh, you know, watch hockey, everybody. Yeah, watch Just hockey. Watch hockey. Just watch hockey. And I, yeah, I know the I know the playoffs. Uh, I know the playoffs go. Uh, they go. They go on pretty I, long. You know, I feel like like the round two has been going on for like at least like three well, months yeah, now. That's because every game's gone seven. Yeah, gone like seven, I, sure. I feel like this is like really going on. Like I feel like I'm like really aging, actually. Right, well, you're aging because your team is like dragging this out. <sighs> God, let's not even talk about it. I understand. So, um, but I would, I would love it if um, the Rangers could win and and the Bruins could win. So it could be Rangers Bruins because my best friend is a Rangers fan, and we did just we, share, we did just share an amazing moment watching our favorite soccer team win together. Yeah. I would love it if we could just hate each other again okay, really yes. quickly. Yeah. Hating is funner. More exactly, fun. more fun. Funner. It's more fun. Funner. It's more fun. Hashtag funner. Has, hashtag funner. F u n n e r. So, uh, so Mother's Day Mother's this Day. weekend, yes. as we said, yes. uh, talking about mm-hmm. Saint Louis. Um, did you do anything for your wife? I did. Took did her, you took her out for lunch? I cooked her very an excellent dinner. Of what? Uh, she wanted um, Turkish Urfa lamb kebabs. Fancy, right? Wow, your wife is like seriously on with with food choices she me like, me i'm just like make me grilled chicken and a baked potato yeah it was either that or uh it was either that or you know a nice grass-fed steak you wanted the lamb i made the lamb 
It this is, is like uh, this is like corn fed Iowa beef. Yeah. No, no, not that GMO shit. I know. What movie is that Grass from? Fed. I don't know what is movie. What movie is that from? Corn like f- this is like corn fed Iowa what, beef. What movie is that from? Are you enjoying your Kept My Blood Dicks, Dr. Lazarus? Wait, what movie is that from? Just like Mother used to make. Oh, God. What I'll give it like a penny to whoever calls it first. All right. On Twitter, call it. Yeah, call, call it. it. I have no idea what you're talking about, and I should. Mm-hmm. Did I miss this? Yes. She wanted Turkish lamb kebabs. Turkish Just lamb like kebabs? Just like they make in Turkey. So I, I pulled that out. Pulled okay. that shit out. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you pulled it out. Yeah, you know, nice little Carvel ice cream cake. Oh. <laughs> Got my mother a Carvel ice cream cake too. Did you really? I did. They had these. They had the ones at the store, like especially for Mother's Day. They had the oh, little so, flowers. Oh yes, you mine did, and I just like bought the first one at Shoprite that I saw and brought it home. Yeah. Was there any drama? You went home. You know, no, it was actually was like good? a normal day. I saw my dog. I got to spend the day with her. Yes. Um, your Westy. My Westy okay. Bailey. Um. Uh. Yeah. So. Uh, so no, no drama. It was. It was like a good day. I yeah. got home. And, got, uh, I got my kids out of the house uh, so she could sleep. We nice. went and got bagels and coffee and shit. Nice. Yeah. Oops, yeah. Ming Chen hanging out I with the family. Out, yeah, Twitter so doesn't. You guys who don't Twitter think doesn't I think, I don't think it's possible. Family. Fuck y'all. Who so, don't uh, think I hang out with my family because so, yeah. I do, bitches. Bitches. Yeah. God damn it. So uh, so yeah, I went home and it was a, it was a good day though. Yeah, but I went to this place called Moby's. Yeah. In Highlands, which I believe I I don't know, but looking at the typeface and everything, I'm wondering if that's where Kevin got the name Moby from. Okay. As in Moby's fast food from Clerks Two. Yes. It's possible. I never asked him about that. You should. Yet, but it may be from that. Uh, but I saw they had uh, a local brewery there, Carton. Mm-hmm. And, um, from uh, from the Highlands, from Atlantic Highlands, yeah. and I'm like, hey, what? Uh, which one is that? as a double IP? Whatever. They're like, oh no, this is made exclusively for us. It's a, it's called a uh, a wit whale. A wit whale. There's a picture of a whale in there. I'm like, dude, beer me up. I'm gonna have to try this. Have to. It was very good. We'll have to go. We have to go to cart. Yeah, we gotta hit all the local breweries. Yeah, Make we'll, fun with everybody. Yeah, we'll, we'll be knee deep in beer, my friend. Yeah. But, I mean, Duclo is doing a great job of doing that. Yeah, we we gotta Thank hit you, the Dave. local. We got we gotta hit the local breweries. Thank you, Dave. Too. Thank you, Morgan. So, uh, <laughs> freaking love you. Both of yes. you. So no drama. So, uh, so no drama. Um, no yeah. drama. All right. Only drama has been here with the whole rap battle or the whole uh, bicentennial battle thing. Yeah. It's so insane. good though. I was, so good. Thank you everybody for listening. Hanging with Tell Them Steve Dave. Yeah. 200 episodes. Um, Two, 200 episodes of Brian Johnson. Think we'll get to 200? Uh, probably not. You don't think um, so? I think I'll kill you before then. You probably um, will. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you probably will. I want to I, I, I want to kill him, but I want to stay informed. Um, I know. Come on. Yes. Oh, not so Sunday. Sunday, Jeff got Jeff. it. It's Galaxy Quest. But oh, um, Galaxy. Oh, I Mike, seen Michael Gaines, you got it like probably about twenty seconds, fifteen oh, seconds behind right. him. You win nothing. So, so you both win win a penny from me. Oh, breaking news, Samantha. Breaking what? news. Rangers goalie Henrik Lundqvist has been fined five thousand dollars for unsportsmanlike conduct. Five thousand. I guess because it was more water. It's, it's I think more so, yeah. of a fine. The more liquid you pour on somebody, <laughs> the more the more money. Five thousand yeah. G's, which is like pocket change for him. Oh yeah. So yeah. five so G's. Con- congratulations! I'm sure he's really really sure upset about that. I'm sorry for what I've done. I, I, yeah, what we need. I, I can't wait to hear the bullshit apology. Yeah. I'm sorry, sorry for, what for I've done. pouring water. I apologize on you. to. Uh, I apologize to whoever I did it to and my teammates. Uh, you will never see this behavior again. Yeah. Yeah. End of story. End of story. And uh, then I'm going to hop in my, you know, million dollar car and yeah. driveway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hey, real quick. Uh, um, I don't know if anybody knew this. Uh, we cut a commercial this week. We did. We did. How we about did. that? We cut it was commercial. adorable. I really liked it. It was. I wrote uh, I wrote three commercials. I'm cutting two of them. One of them was kind of weak. So I'm not, you know, that's why you do three. The other yeah. one was kind of like, eh. But uh, here's here's the first one. I'm gonna play it for you guys. This is uh, exclusive. Gonna be running on uh, Smodco Internet Radio. Oh, I hate network. listening to myself talk. You're listening to yourself talk right now. But not really. Like I'm talking. Yeah. Well. Okay. So here's a commercial for uh, the S N M show on the Smodco Internet Radio. Here you go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Ming Chen. And this is Samantha Quintus. Tune in every Monday night at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, 3.30 p.m. Pacific for us, The Sam and Ming Show. The s and Show. It's Brian Johnson's favorite <laughs> podcast. It's true. It's the only thing that'll get him hard. <laughs> I say it so, like, pointed. Like, it's the only Sorry, thing that's going to get him hard. Funny. It's the only thing that will we'll get, get him, him hard. Yeah, you can, uh, uh, one, more, one more time. Take two. It's true. It's the only thing that'll get him hard. <laughs> I, all right. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is so funny about Brian Johnson's know. penis? It's true. It's the only thing that will get him hard. It is. So come get hard with us. Only here on Smodco Internet Radio. Your weekly session of verbal domination. 
See that last line like sexier, like like true. Why? Line. I'm supposed to be like a dominatrix. I know, but like you're you're like. No, no. Do it. Do some more. Do it. Do it very slowly. Welcome to your weekly session of verbal domination. Bam! Nailed it there at the end. <laughs> well, totally yeah. nailed it. Well, yeah. Totally nailed it. I love yeah, it. You uh, love you it. have you definitely have a career in like porn making. Oh, my direction. Yeah. Do do it. Do Simone. Do it, do Simone. Do it, do it very, very slowly. slowly. Yes. Uh, I just love, I love true, that little, movie. Yeah. Little true lies for you. I, I I've always liked that quote. I don't know. I don't even know why. I it's just like the the guy. He comes out. He comes out, and he's like, "Who's this shit for?" Or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah. He whipped out the headphones. Like, yeah. what the hell is this shit yeah. for? <laughs> what the hell is this shit for? Yeah, that was good. That was good. So yeah. So, so that'll be a running rotation. I have another one. I'm gonna be cutting. So nice. And uh, I haven't, I haven't and and I was yet. in a in your gloat video today. So you were. That was fun, right? Yeah, that was adorable. That was fun. We should we should do more like that. Yeah. We should just always videotape and you know record ourselves. You know, uh, yeah. yeah, you know, not every. Let's just day. let's just podcast every day. All right. Oh wait, you already do. I pretty much, pretty <laughs> much. You know, once a week is good. It's it's true. Once a week is good. Although I could do it more. So, anyways, that's all I got. Yeah, that's all we that's got all for got. today. It's pretty much what I got. Yeah. And um, so thank you very much. Well, thank you. Thank and, everybody uh, we'll, listening. We will be going on more adventures. Yes, we more, will. Uh, we got more. Pl- we got adventures planned this week. We we do have adventures, possible planned. adventures. So, uh, and you know. uh, I I saw you were buying a dildo. <laughs> Is that how we're ending things? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be the line for the week today. All right. So you know, until till next time, my friends. Uh, hey. Yes. Yes. All right. Thank you for listening, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Duke Law. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you. But yeah, seriously, thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank we'll you. We'll talk to you next week. Yes. This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. 